Good evening, everyone, and welcome to Slices and Dices. Tonight, we climb to the tallest peaks of the world, the rooftop of the world, one would say. And we stand at that cliffside, the, majest the majestic vista, and call out Cthulhu Fadagan. That's right. <laughs> Tonight, we're playing Call of Cthulhu, Children of Fear, and it is, I believe, episode 11 or 12, one of those. Where 11. We're almost up. 11. Yeah. We've almost got enough to uh, fill a dozen eggs, and I don't know if you want to open what's inside. That's another campaign. <laughs> I think eggs are the uh, space one. Um, that said, I am your keeper tonight, Jonathan, and uh, I am joined by these wonderful investigators. So, why don't we just get right into it? Because y'all don't know who all these uh, wonderful people are and who they will be playing. Where is some music? I had a mountain pass somewhere. Don't uh, you hate it when you lose your mountain pass? How about if we all uh, just go, you know, and, and yeah, do whoosh, like sound effects of the mountain pass. Whoosh. Ah, there it is. <laughs> Clearly labeled Mountain Pass. Yeah, that sucked. Never mind. Thank you, Jonathan. <laughs> <laughs> we must go through the mine. <laughs> the mines of Moria. Oh, that's better. Sauron's tongue is on the wind. <laughs> oh God, do not. <laughs> don't speak to me of Sauron's tongue. <laughs> so, that. No I thanks. I don't even want to know what the hell that was about. Continue. Sorry, we went real, real right <laughs> off the edge there. We went somewhere. Uh huh? Yeah. Where are we going? Hey. Well, now you're going to Tibet. Oh, okay, we're in Tibet now. <laughs> Indeed. Current date. It's roughly somewhere in early May 1924. So, 100 years ago. Ish. <laughs> Current location. Derge, the kingdom of Derge, Tibet. When we last left our intrepid investigators, they had arrived in Lhasa, the capital of Tibet. They were tasked by the British Raj, the Crown, and the Tibetan government to track down a missing Nepalese diplomat. Investigating around, you discovered he had been spotted frequenting a rooming house along with a few hooded figures. As it turns out, the diplomat had been gathering the materials for a powerful ritual meant to unleash a sleeping servant of an ancient eldritch being. A certain one that happens to sleep in the waters off the uh, Atlantic, I believe. During the investigation of the room... Indeed. During the investigation of the room, Timur stumbled through a portal disguised as a Sanka painting on the wall. Painted in blood, by the way. The rest of the investigators followed, but not before Timur was captured by the cultists and knocked out, and brought inside. An attempted infiltration of the temple later, the investigators found themselves face to face with the diplomat, who initiated the ritual after negotiations failed. A frantic melee ensued between the investigators and the cultists, the former trying their best to stop the chanters around the chamber. Timur joined midway into the fray, and despite the investigator's best efforts, the seal opened and the slumbering servant awakened. The ravenous creature, a star spawn of Cthulhu, began reaching for whatever it could get its hands on to sate its hunger. Thanks to the quick thinking of the investigators, including a gamble with a grenade by Sophion, they managed to buy Tenzin enough time to complete a counter ritual using the wheels in the temple to seal the gate once more. Receiving thanks from the Tibetan, Indian, and British governments, and also a little bit of a favor from the Dalai Lama himself. The investigators took some much needed rest before heading on their way to the printing house in uh, Derge Parkham. There, in those hallowed halls, they were introduced to Yonten Fun Sok, an elderly yet sharp-eyed monk who ran the printing house. Upon explaining the situation, Fun Sok readily agreed to create a new ritual manuscript for the investigators. In exchange, he asked 
them to deliver a gift to the Dzogchen Monastery, a highly detailed and multicolored printed thangka. The journey to the monastery would take three to four days, so a round trip would be just enough time for the monks of the printing house to complete the manuscript. Thus, the investigators accepted this task and the next morning embarked on their way. So, firstly, I don't know if I can actually hear the roll 20, but if it's going for you, then it's going. Oh, it's going. We hear it's, it. Yeah. I had to turn mine up to max to hear it, but I can hear it. Okay. I'm going to turn it up a schmidge. Yeah, 92%. Cool. We're good. Okay. So, here, by the way, is um, a reminder of Yun Ten von Sok. Hey, uh,. This guy. Hey. Aww, he got a nice face. He's a nice guy. Look at that guy. Mm -hmm. Hmm. Looks to be his seventies, eighties even, and despite his age, very spry and sharp. He should be president. <laughs> Get out. Oh, I'm sorry. <clears throat> uh, who should be president slash leader of Tibet is a very hotly debated topic in this point of time. <laughs> 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 And by which point of time? Eh, what? How much changes in a hundred years? Exactly. It's not going to matter. Mm. So, all right. That morning, you are brought a wooden box containing the um, the sanka. Yunten von Sok shows you this box, opens it and reveals a roll of blue brocaded silk attached to two wooden rods. He asks, and he asks for one of your help to help unroll it because it's a very large piece. Inside is a piece of rainbow silk behind which is, a, is this um, beautiful depiction. A very special gift to the Dzogchen Rinpoche. You see here in the center, is Guru Pema Rigsen, the founder of the monastery. Around him are the great teachers of whom he is an emanation. This one here is Guru Rinpoche. Although you may know him better as Padma Sambhava. This one is the arrow shooter, Saraha, one of the founders of Rajavana. Raja, sorry. Raja Yana. And finally, we have the great Pandita Vimalamitra, who passed on his wisdom to Guru Rinpoche. The scenery is of the monastery's most sacred valley and displays the various plants and creatures found in the area. We are very proud of this piece. The print blocks are exceedingly fine, and we hope that the abbot will find it a pleasing addition to his collection. Please deliver this. Indeed. Indeed. And he beams at with pride as he shows you this wonderful, um, wonderful piece. Please deliver this to Kun Chen Chodak. It, he is the Dzogchen Monastery's Korpa, so that he may add it to their inventory and present it to the abbot on the next holy day. And of course, please, take good care of it. Of course. Thank you for putting that all in chat. That's actually quite useful. Yes. Because yes, I got you. Pronunciations are a thing. Mm-hmm. Okay. Kunchen Chodak. Mm -hmm. Okay. All right. We will be honored to transport this piece. Absolutely. You're in your ship. Indeed. <laughs> By the way, since I know it matters so much, I did fuck up and say this is episode 11. This is not episode 11. This is episode 12. You were right. Hey. Yeah. 
<laughs> Happy dozen. Indeed. Nice. All right, so. And with that, um, there's a young monk who is a local of the area who can act as your guide. Is there anything in particular we need to prepare for this journey? It will be a three-day... It is taxing on the body, but you all look healthy and physical enough that you should be able to make the journey. We'll have some pack animals to help carry our... carry the supplies. Um, it'll take three or four days. Yeah. You see, we are on one side of this, uh, this valley, the Rudam Valley. We must cross to the other side. Very good. Could you indicate on the map where, quote unquote, on the other side it is from Durge? Okay. I will actually move us to a completely separate map. Oh, because never mind. Thank you. That will, Ooh. That will help. Ooh. Uh, maps. There we go. Maps what cool. an idea. So, mountainous. That's a lot of mountains, this dude. Is very mountainous. Jeez. Yeah, so mm -hmm. Durge is right here. Yeah. And you'll see that this... All the way from Lhasa, which was over here, right here, We're all the way to the west. Yeah, yeah, right there. That is the entire distance that you traveled since, like, a session ago. Oh shoot! Okay. Damn. Mhm. Mm we were hiking. Yeah, and you oh. are essentially trying to get over to here. Oh, okay. Oh, so yeah. that's not too far. Yeah, it's like three or four days ish. Um, it's down and up. Mountains. I will be perfectly honest. I'm not actually sure where on the map it is, but it said <laughs> northeast. So that's always good to know <laughs> that your own DM doesn't even know where something is on the map. <laughs> it's way over here. <laughs> it's way off the corner somewhere. That's fine. As long as it's we're in the right direction, eventually we'll get there, or we'll just hit the invisible yeah, wall and just you know. Something like will find us. Why can't I get out? Yeah, just be careful if you uh, faint and then suddenly wake up in a wagon. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god! I got that reference. Hello. Oh, I got that reference. I took an arrow to the yeah. knee. Ah, you're finally awake. <laughs> yes, oh. you're finally awake. <laughs> you're finally awake. <laughs> Watch out for Thomas the Tank Engine. <laughs> oh my god. Okay, Lord. so. Uh, the monk actually will be, begins taking you along the way, and you are... Um, yeah, you are. You begin to uh, traverse the valley. Along all the sides of the valley, there are these very impressive mountains. Indeed, the, this entire region is just mountains. Anywhere you look, you be, have soaring peaks and valleys and gorges and rivers um, where all the snow collects and then just the river waterfalls into streams that eventually reach into the other waterways in this entire part of the continent and the subcontinent of India. You do, in fact, pass by um, a spring that feeds the actual monster river itself. A sacred spring, in fact. It is said that um, the place that you, where you'd be going, the Dogchen Monastery, it said that uh, Pema Riksten, as you see in the founder of the Durge Monastery, was sent to Kham after by the great fifth Dalai Lama to find a suitable site to build a monastery. Apparently he was guided to the exact spot by a crow that stole his tea bowl as he rested in the valley. So the crow came down, took the bowl, and the monk just chased after this crow and, the, and where the crow landed and left the bowl, that was the spot. During this journey, you also notice that Tenzin, um, this is his home, where he comes from. 
Hmm. Often wanders off and um, begins examining the natural uh, flora of the place. Uh, stroking his chin as he extends some herbs and plants such, picking a few, and um, carefully storing them into uh, small pouches and the like. Is there anything? In... This, I would say May would actually sort of approach him and ask, "What is it that you are collecting?" Oh, um, I am collecting these uh, these herbs and these plants for the ritual that we will soon have to do once we acquire the manuscript. Um, I don't believe they grow anywhere else. Not even okay. in. Um, your middle kingdom, or the uh, the great lands to the south of India that you that we had been, um, they only grow here. Oh well. In that case, I am not much of a botanist, but if I can be of assistance, please let me know. Of course, um, and he tells you all the different names in Tibetan and shows you what they look like and stuff like that. Um, and he is very happy to help. And May indeed, takes copious your, notes. Mm -hmm. Indeed, based on your just general knowledge of science and like, um, and your ed level of education, you're pretty sure none of these, in fact, exists or know are known to Western science. These are all you can't you can't place like where you, these could have been seen before or something and. What would be a discovery for them have been known to these uh, indigenous peoples for hundreds of, th of years. With this knowledge in mind, I'll keep my eyes out as we travel and also collect said plants. Indeed. Um, the rest of you, Sophia and Timur, uh, Dr. Lockhart and Mr. Lockhart, anything that y'all are particularly up to in this trip? It is a uh, pretty active hike, going down and going up, rather steep, to, on the final ascent. There, um, occasionally you have to, like, help the mules up the, uh, the way, but their mules still get their ass up there. Mm -hmm. Um... Yeah, you want to teach me to shoot a rifle better? Sure. Yeah. Mm -hmm. well, when we're camping, or yeah, while we're, we're just camping, picking up birds. <laughs> yeah. Shoot our dinner, I guess. It's gonna take us a few days, right, John? You said it'll take you a few days, but it will not be enough to be a uh, self improvement. Oh, fine. Okay. <laughs> uh, um, I will spend my time uh, watercoloring. Mm -mm. Yes, the mountains. I will paint. I will journal about our travels and, you know, draw pictures of the landscape. Yes. You can get it. There you go. Indeed, and across the uh, days when you are not hiking, you are filling several pages, I believe, of drawings or paintings and... Um... Hey, Charles, why don't you give me a arts and crafts? Okay. Uh, <laughs> I don't even know if I have arts and crafts, John. Arts and crafts Be painting. Beginner painter. Uh, it would be under art slash craft if you had it. Yeah. Well, I guess I don't. I guess I don't have it. Maybe I'm not painting. No artistic I mean, ability I mean, whatsoever. That's because you don't you have don't it on your sheet. Be, you, you don't have to be skilled to do it. You just might not be very good. Yeah, well, it is what it is. Stick it means that you haven't had like it means you haven't had like you know formal training or like dedicated a bunch of time to it. So how about um, let's see, what's a good one? Otherwise, it's just going to be like dexterity or sleight of hand. Jonathan, you'll have to uh, forgive me because this is what I imagine that Charles Lockhart's drawing looks like. Oh my god. Don't be me. Mountains. <laughs> P 
people yeah. like this. <laughs> There's a person <laughs> on the mountain. And I'll take a dex. I'll take a dex uh, roll. And there's the sun. Oh, uh, yep. that's right. Yep. That's yep. My... This is about what it looks like. You can you can erase all these drawings, by the way, if you want, Jonathan. Or just leave them up. It's up to you. Uh, and then, like, coloring in the sun. Look, there's an American flag on there, and it's exactly what it should be. Yep, yep, yep. I'm going to hold on one second. Because I'm American. Yep, let me put a little flag. Let me put a little flag here. Boop. There's a flag. Yep. Uh, little red stripes. A nice form of therapy. You try to calm the brain after everything that's happening. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> There's a little, little, you know, little blue area right there. All right, there you go. Yeah, so go, that is... <laughs> okay. Um, <laughs> Timur, you're not doing any, any favors for how suspicious the party is of you. <laughs> <laughs> Oh my god. Oh yes, we're also right. keeping an eye on Timor. That's right. <laughs> okay. Do do? We do not we do not accept elder signs in here. <laughs> Get that out of here. Um okay, so <laughs> I I am leaving this one up for a point. Oh um, thank you. <laughs> so So Charles, you do your best to um to paint out the uh, this, the beautiful landscape, because even as someone who has not traditionally perhaps pursued art, um, the view and your scenery just captures you so much that you do wish to still try. And despite your best efforts, it is harder, I believe, to try to paint at such an elevation, especially with like watercolor. Oh, and it's cold yeah. as hell. It's, oh, like, that pretty makes cool, sense. You know. It, so I make like, I make ice color. Well, <laughs> mm, don't. I don't know. You want colored ice? That's uh, suspicious. But the point is that you try <laughs> and <laughs> and you make the the shapes. And in your mind's eye, when you you feel like when you look back upon this, you will remember these mountains. These are the actual Rudam Valley mountains. Whoa, I want to go there. Ooh. Yeah. That's pretty. actually really pretty. So you can imagine having to start at one end, come down the mountain, yep. cross the valley, and then go back up the mountain. So. I mean, the scenery looks amazing. Like, yeah. Yeah. In 1924. <laughs> Mm -hmm. Yeah, when it actually probably still looked like that. Mm -hmm. Yeah, mm -hmm. and there were no cars. The only no. car, I believe, is in Lhasa, and it was a gift to the Dalai Lama, and the Dalai Lama straight up said, what am I going to do with this? Mm -hmm. Yeah, seriously. <laughs> it's about right. Yeah. Okay. So, we will tuck this away into uh, Charles' journal. Thank you. Mm-hmm. Uh, masterpiece. So. Mm -hmm. uh, let's see. I'm going to grab all y'all from a. I'm going to grab all y'all from a page so I can put you on the map easier. Cause I like the I like the flags for um, signifying locations that are important. I think I'm going to just use y'all to like as a markers of where you actually are. Okay. So. At last, you arrive, and you see before you a, a, monas a building, um, a monastery that is made up of a similar, like, mud and wooden mud brick uh, material. To the one, to the monastery, you see a monastery that is made up of a wooden mud brick construction, similar to the one that you saw previously in Durge for the printing house. And um, for reference, it's basically a wooden frame with mud packed in so that it keeps shape and then it continues to build like that. So it also insulates. Hmm. And you see that these um, are like these box like constructions, um, very simple geometric, but they are larger and smaller ones that are connected together to form the Dokchen Monastery. 
When you arrive, you are greeted by a young Ani, or a nun, who comes down uh, clutching a, um, a cloak around her and just says, Hello, welcome to the Dolchen Monastery. Um, may I ask what your business is here? Yes, we are here with a gift from the abbot of the Gonchen Monastery, uh, brought from the printing house in Derge. We were asked to deliver it to Kunchen Kodak, your corpa. Oh, ah, uh, yes. Um, please come this way. And she shows you to, she leads you up the mountain and before entering, she just stop and say, uh, I, I must ask for you to um, please hand over any weapons you have on your person or amongst you. We cannot allow such items into the monastery, I'm afraid. Of course. Okay. May will hand over her weapons. I guess so Fion would sort of turn to her and say, is there a, 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 any reason why it is that you require us to relieve ourselves of our defenses? As It is as part of our religion. We do not condone the presence of weapons within these walls and violence. Unless, of course, in the form of... Um, Unless it is violence for the sake of the greater karmic balance, but in that case, I would say, leave the matters to us. But I assure you, you will be safe here. Just she sort Mabel of like trans may will translate all this if we're speaking Tibet. Yeah. Yeah. All right, Sophian will acquiesce. Yeah. Mm -hmm. We've done this before. Uh, hand over. Well, Timur will hand over the weapons as well. I mean, you mm -hmm. take your fucking hands off and just like <laughs> at the wrists and just drop them. Into... <laughs> Shout out to Resident Evil Four. Wait, your right hand comes off. <laughs> um, Timur gets to keep his hands. Meg gets to keep her brain. Okay, fine. Cool. Fine. No, wait. The gloves come off. Oh. Um, the nun looks confused. Like, you don't have to take these off. It is rather. Um, if you insist, and she, <laughs> it is put away with the, um, the sawn-off shotgun, the machete, the whip, <laughs> the bolt-action rifle, the and, and the, yeah, and the, the saber, jack. the blackjack. <laughs> The most dangerous weapon. It's like gloves. <laughs> it's like we're playing Clue or something like that, right? <laughs> the pipe, the rope, yeah, the knife, the candlestick, yeah. in the conservatory, right? That's yes. where they're storing everything. Yep, they're so yeah in the billiard room. And so you are brought to a, a visitor's, visitor's quarters where you are um, set up with butter tea and sampa. Which are those dough balls made of rice, roasted barley flour, yak butter, um, and mm, tea. Yes. So, I realize I've not actually shown a picture of what butter tea looks like. I think I... Was I the only one who liked that? There was one of us who liked it and everyone else who thought it was horrible. It's just the it's, idea of it. It sounds really it's, good. It's generally not great. Oh, no, <laughs> You've I had meant, it? Like, I meant... Uh, no, I have not good. had it. By rules in game, yes. I um, I have a thing of iced tea in my hand, so please don't make me dump this in the sink. So it, listen, it doesn't look bad. It's just it's just tea, and it's just knowing the contents of it. Okay. And it's and it smells okay. awful. Great. Um. But. Cool. I'm just quickly uh, pulling some images off of Dugal. Um, let's see, butter tea. 
feel like we all have to go out and try it. Uh, <laughs> I, I assume I assume you could find it in like uh, I don't know any Tibetan restaurants if they're mm -hmm. or around already. <laughs> yeah. Okay, so this is a cup of butter tea. It doesn't look horrible. Yeah, it doesn't look too bad. It but it's all milky. Also, neither does durian, you know? That's true. That's yeah, fair. Fair. And these, I think you'll like the look of. These are Sampa. But that's a door. Ooh. Ooh, those look better. Those look pretty good. Mm -hmm. I like the little sauce thing they got going on over there. Mm -hmm. What is what is that, Jonathan? Okay. Please tell me nothing objectionable. I think it's just like a... You know, spicy sauce. Spicy or sauce? sauce. Okay. Uh, yeah. Okay. A little bit of a spice for your palate up there. Yeah, that's fine. Okay. Yeah. Keep you warm in the cold temps. Mm hmm. Yeah, you see, um, as before, Tenzin takes the sampa, dips it into the butter tea to soften it before eating it. Um, so, yeah, off into the distance. There are people um, doing prayers and such like that. So, I'm just wondering if I had a temple one. Temple music. Yeah. Because mm -hmm. I'm, I'm like 70% sure. Yo, I've definitely seen temple music on Roll20. 100%. Yeah. That's pretty good. Ah, I can finally hear it. Great. Um, and so... The Ani returns and says, please, come this way. And you are led to, um, through a series of rooms, uh, to one of the larger buildings of the monastery. And there, you enter into this room, and there's a low desk that is half hidden under papers and scrolls, some of which are covered in writing, others with only a few annotations. Shelves full of scrolls, all carefully kept in clay pots, line the walls of this office. For you, you see a rather unremarkable looking monk in his late 50s. And he just barely glances up as the Ani um, leads you in and just says, You may go. Finishes make, making a note. And the first person he actually seems to see is Tenzin. And he bows three times to him. And then, at last, bows once to all of you. So, I hear that you have come from Derge, bearing a gift. I am Kunchan Chodak the corpa of this monastery. It is a pleasure to have you. And that is him. May bows in return and says, we thank you very much for your hospitality. Hmm. Charles okay. also bows and says, it's a pleasure. The so, girl tells me you have this gift, yes? We do. I don't know if I, if I was led to believe this thing is quite large, so I have no idea who's carrying it, but definitely not me. I'm tiny. We, I'm sure it's in some sort of box. I present the box to him. Yeah, so you're, you're given a like large wooden box. Um, and inside was the rolled up scrolls. And so, he sees it, nods, and begins to clear a space on the desk and indicates for you to set the box down. I do. He takes a seat and um, opens the box reverently, treating it as like um, 
as it was a sacred artifact. He lifts up the Tanka and unfurls it, such that only he can see what the image is, not you. And as he sort of looks at it, it lowers slightly, and we see that he there's a frown on his face. His brows furrowed as he looks at the um, illustration. Can I discern from his frown or expression what his mindset may be or what emotions he is expressing? Mm. I believe that is... Is that a psychology? I think so. It probably sounds like psychology. Yeah. It sounds like I think psychology. psychology. I can roll psychology if you want. Yeah, go for it. Okay. Let me open up Here psychology is. here. Here is to try it out as well. Uh, here we go. If that's allowed. Timo, did you want to go for it? So? Nice. Hey. Hard success. Oh, damn. Eh. Mm. Sure. If it will roll. Okay. Never mind. Well, what do I know? So, with the hard success, uh, Sophion, it is clear that from just the frown and the sort of furrowed brow, what he's looking at is not what he was expecting. Right? Hmm. But you, Sophion, determine that he's not entirely surprised. Hmm. Seeing the look on his face, can I try to catch a glimpse of what is on this scroll that he's looking at? Um, so you, like, you want to sort of angle around the, the room yeah, a bit? Yeah, because, like, I guess May, like, May seeing him frown is wondering if they accidentally damaged it in transit and wants to, like, get a look at it to see mm -hmm. if anything has happened, if they're at fault in some way for this, because she remembers how beautiful it was and is worried that they screwed up. All right. So, as you sort of, um, maneuver... Like uh, move forward just to like see what's going on. Um, Kunchen Chodak looks up at you and says, "I thought this was supposed to be a print of Zhouchen Pima Ritsin and his masters sitting here in All Valley." It was when we examined it before we packed it. What has it been damaged in transit? Not physically, but. He sighs and lay and indicates the box to be moved. And once there's room on the table, it rolls out the uh, the thanka before you. So instead of the beautiful valley with um, these great Buddhist teachers, these tantric masters, instead the print now displays. I used my parchment. It now displays two figures. Tenzin. Your very own Tenzin Kalsang. And a red-skinned woman. In a position known as the Yabyum. Ooh, boy. A sexual union. Oh, I don't know oh. how I knew that one. I've Sitting never... on a lotus flower in the center of a lake I've never... I've... in a heart-shaped valley ringed by mountains and waterfalls. I'm not going to admit to have ever done that uh, particular thing, but I don't know why. I'm not that good of an artist. <laughs> uh, May sees it, blushes bright red, <laughs> and immediately steps back from the desk. All right. Uh, Charles just goes, <clears throat> Wow. Didn't realize it was such a colorful portrait. 
Eleanor puts a hand to her mouth and looks sideways at Tenzin. <laughs> so, in this print also... I, I, May is Timor's, staring straight at the floor. Floor mm-hmm. only. Timor's just, floor. Like, Timor's just look... Timor just can't help but smug. <laughs> <laughs> okay. In the rest of this painting, there are these tiny white apes that can be seen climbing, clambering upon the slopes. And surrounding the mountains are representations of each of you. Nice. Each framed by a circular rainbow. So, Sophia, I think you're the last, the only one who has not given a reaction. Nope, haven't seen it yet. Well, it's now open to be seen. Okay, now I see it. Uh, everybody. Yeah. So um, what is what would be your so like the reaction? So Fion is kind of stunned. Um, and then I sort of turn to Tenzin and I say, uh, "Oh, did the music go out? Or is it just me?" I think it's, it's still there. here. Oh, it's, that's weird. It's still there. I, I don't hear the music anymore. What's going on? I'm just going to refresh. Oh, it's going. Yeah, I'm gonna refresh my roll twenty. Sometimes it does this. Um, Being a little weird, I couldn't hear my music earlier. No problem. So. Um, yeah, the music just completely disappeared. I don't know what's happening. Yeah, it paused for some reason. Or that the music completely paused. Jonathan, could you write the name of the position in the chat? Because yeah. Matt is very focused on the music right now. Yeah, sorry. <laughs> yeah, would you? Yeah, and he's the only one who knows what it looks like. <laughs> yeah, I was like, I, I needed to, I need to Google this. So. I, yeah, I, I, yeah. I, I haven't Googled it yet. I'm opening up a. Uh... It's uh. Well, you yeah, did, you yeah. gave us information we shouldn't oh, see here, Jonathan. Huh? You gave us information we shouldn't see. Oh shoot! Oh well, oh look at that hidden. Nice. Uh, but I did see, yeah, it was. I saw nothing. Oh, if you want um, anyone with a occult or Buddhism of appropriate amounts can uh, roll that. John- I will is that roll better? It since my Buddhism is probably high enough. Hey, Jonathan, could you do me a favor? There you go. Could you just. Uh, now we're allowed to see it. Uh, hit, hit stop <laughs> on the music and hit play. I think that may, they may fix it for some reason or other. Just, maybe it's just me. And. Sexy. Grab that ass. Let's see if that fixed it. Yes, that fixed it. Thank you, sir. All right. Uh, no problem. And then... Uh, okay, there's too many heads in this picture for me to figure out what's happening. Is Let's there? Try. Sorry, I missed a picture while I was refreshing. God damn no, it. He ga- no, he <laughs> gave us the name and I Googled it. Oh. Yeah. Oh. Um, oh, my. I will, oh, okay. I will oh, place just this has more into... arms than others. Yes. I'll place this in the Discord. I found Yab-yum. Okay. But I found one without too many arms. And I was like, oh, okay. That's not as risque as it could have been. Yeah. No. Uh, okay. So, I mean, that's not something that I haven't seen on, you know, uh, any number of Game websites. Of yeah. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Game of Thrones. Yeah, sure. Um, anyway, so based on reactions, um, I think Chang Mei and maybe who do you, who among us i think chang mei gets the sanity uh gets to roll sanity <laughs> but oh, yeah. who else Definitely. among of us do you think do we think would roll have to roll sanity here not we're married not sophia <laughs> i think it's not sophia no sophia's been I'm around the block my... all right he's probably well, like giving him a god damn um but yeah Jeez. Uh, Chang Mei, you managed to um, steady Same. yourself. Just very embarrassed. Yes. Um, and as many of you uh, have asked, what does Tenzin think? <laughs> yeah, I was. I, Tenzin. I, I certainly was looking at Tenzin after. You all turned to Tenzin while May is still looking at the floor for a bit. Though I did make the lore Buddhism roll to get that bit of info, so it's yes. legit now. I'm allowed to know. <laughs> All right. Before um, I look directly at the floor. In fact, it's probably it's probably um, recovering this information in your mind that helped sort of like steady you. And like yes. Yes. Just like wait, wait, 
turn this into intellect, turn it into yes. intellect. It's gonna be fine. So this uh the red skinned woman is familiar. It's a familiar um character or person in um Buddhism. Dorje Fagmo. And I'm gonna put that in here. Dorje Fagmo. Okay. Looking that yeah. one up. So Oh she Dor is at a very important um incarnation, so to speak. Yeah. Right after the Dalai Lama and the Panchen Lama. Huh. Yeah. I like the art that I'm looking at mm -hmm. anyway. On Wikipedia. So. Mm-hmm. So, Tenzin. He, his eyes widen at the sight, and he just bursts out in a big smile. Mm -hmm. <laughs> ah, who would have thought? What, what an amazing, amazing sign. This, my friends, is an omen of our well, we are blessed by by the gods. They, the divines, look down upon us with our journey with this um, with this sign. They are watching us and following us to our way. A very interesting way they have chosen to show that. Well, they have shown where we will go, and what we will, where we will be, for the ritual. May like drags her eyes up from the floor and looks at the print again, just trying really hard not to look at the image in the center of it and just look around it. Are you saying this is some sort of map? This depicts the Valley of the White Ape, to which Kunshen Chodak goes. You seek the valley in Permako. And Tenzin says, yes, yes, good Corpa. You see, we are on a mission uh, by, the, um, by the lords of Shambhala themselves, sent to us by visions. And my friends here were gathered to, to me by the lords of Shambhala. And we have been traveling throughout this land to, to stop the great evil that would take it. And there we must for perform a vital, vital ceremony to preserve the world as we know it. At this, Kunshen Chodak simply nods. Ah, your visit to us is a most suspicious one. Or... Clearly, there must be Nagas or Dakinis at work with such a wonderful treasure to have revealed to us through you. Despite this not being the expected piece, this is indeed a most precious gift for our abbot. Please relay our thanks, our great thanks, to the abbot of Derge for his generosity in sending you to us. And as he says these words, Sofian, you can still just see beneath that, um, beneath that diplomatic and that very diplomatic tone and choice of words. Despite everything that he had seen and tends in the story, Kunshan Chodak is not entirely surprised. Not surprised at what he's seen that has just appeared on this drawing, yeah? 
Yeah, and he doesn't seem very shocked by Tenzin's story. The music dropped out again, Jonathan. I'm not sure what's going on. It's uh, still going for me. Yeah, I don't. Yeah, me too. It's so weird. It just it stops. Um, oh. It just. I love technology. Yeah, I don't know what's mm-hmm. going on. You stop it and restart it. I don't know if that's happening. Uh, Maybe it it, it it hasn't happened for anything else. Yeah, as soon as you stop and then restart. Nope. I'm just gonna refresh the page. It's- I I, I well, think now I can't hear it either. Yeah, no worries. Well, it's oh, no, enough. I can now hear it's fine. I don't get it. It's so weird. I think Roll Twenty is having a shit fit uh, mm. because no one on chat can hear the music either. Maybe it's a maybe it's just this one piece. I don't know. Oh, I just turned it up. I can hear it. No, no, no. It's, it was, I put it at seventy six, and I can hear it. It's it's nothing to do with you folks. It's to do clearly with the way that this is spreading its music love around on roll 20 because i it seems frozen on roll 20 and no one can chat can hear it if you if you guys can't hear it or can hear it but i can't that means chat can't hear it that's fine yeah it's it's Mm -hmm. it's just not it's not progressing i don't know what it is uh we'll we'll figure it out it's no problem i'm sure um so yeah Um, hmm. I guess uh, huh. Sophia will probably uh, go over to the uh, to this Tibetan monk and sort of surreptitiously just say, "Sorry to intrude. Uh, apologies. D- do you happen to know our friend?" Tenzin, it seemed at the beginning that you offered some note that you uh, were relatively familiar with him. Uh, have you met him before? Or? I have not met this this um, Lama before. I greeted him as appropriate to his dress and station. Oh, I see. It just seemed that you were um, not not surprised at the change in the gift that was offered to you. I see that he just sort of bites it inside of his mouth and just he just sighs and says, "I must admit, I have been expecting you." And not not just this gift, but I have in fact dreamt of your arrival. Huh. What your friend Tenzin here says is true, it seems. Your journey is watched by the gods. I I have seen much. We have seen much in the months preceding our journey here in Tibet. I don't understand very much of what it is that we are meant to do other than sort of follow the signs ahead of us to the next the next momentous point in in time. We are sort of being led by the nose by our friend here, and there is much at stake from what he has told us. Much at stake to the uh, the rest of the world. I find it somewhat hard to believe, but I have also found much of what we have seen and heard to be hard to believe. What, it is a lot to take in. Well, what is it that and you believe? That is our, what is our purpose? Our purpose? That is something that you will ponder and meditate upon throughout the many lives you will live. 
it is a lot to attempt to open your mind to the meanings and wisdoms of the world. More than enough for one mortal lifetime. And you are correct. In a sense, everything is at stake. Everything as we know it. Once over and once again. Quick question, Jonathan. Um, mm -hmm. Tenzin mentioned a phrase that I'm not sure I've heard very often before. I think he may have said it once or twice, but I don't know if he said it so much that I kind of keyed into it, which is the Lords of Shambhala. Yes. Has he, has he said that phrase before? He may have mentioned it um, before when he first met you. Yeah. That he had visions sent to him by the Lords of Shambhala to take those possessions with him and his paints to set himself up in that cave in Tun Huang, um, in the Cave of the Thousand Buddhas, and to be sealed up in that chamber. Mm -hmm. And he would paint upon the walls portraits of those who could potentially free him from that cave, and those would be the ones to join him on the journey. Got it. So, culturally, would any of us know who the lords of Shambhala, whatever, what, I don't even know what Shambhala, I mean, I, I've heard the, the phrase Shambhala from like the cool song, but like, I, I think it also has a cultural significance to it specifically for people who live in this area of the world. And I think I'm pretty sure I, I know what it is. I myself as a player, mm -hmm. but I don't know if any of us would know what Shambhala is. Yeah, Shambhala would be known by May for sure. She has the requisite Buddhist um, knowledge, and uh, Shambhala also exists in, um, I believe, in also Chinese mythology. So I think for her, she would know, and Tenzin, of course, knows. For the rest of you, it would take an occult or lore Buddhism okay. to correctly identify it but yeah okay or asking the monk mm -hmm. i was about to to be perfectly <laughs> honest if i failed this role but it's always good if i if i get to succeed on the role then you know mm -hmm. i get some hopefully points <laughs> ne some, some next time later. exactly so i'll i'll roll what the hell let's let's do it uh you said a cult is that correct Occult, Lord Buddhism, I'll take anthropology. Oh, um, uh, what about history, John? Mm, no. Not really history here. Uh, <laughs> Everyone's like, oh, it's Jesus Corn history. Uh, a shot. Anthropology got a whopping one. Occult, I got a five. Oh, there you go. Let's do it. There you go. Let's go. 5% <laughs> chance of success and bloop. Fumble. Ooh. <laughs> Seems like you got them confused with somebody else. <laughs> Shambhala. You, know, but you think you know, but you're completely incorrect. Shambhala, the name of my neighbor's dog. An old, old wooden ship. <laughs> An <Jambalaya>. old <laughs> jambalaya, yes. It's delicious <laughs> Cajun Creole dish. dish. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what's a jambalaya, but... <laughs> Shambhala would be... Um... Uh, how to describe? It is like your your Westerners, your heaven of sorts. So, the Lords of Heaven. I see. All right. Well, then we are blessed. Yes, the lords of heaven have blessed us. Are the portraits in this new painting the same as what we saw in Tenzin's cave? Uh, no, they're a different style. They're, um, 
because he, he was painting with like the uh with a brush or like an implement these are actually like printed mm. so like had it been carved first and then printed uh, wow. but if it was print it was a different thing was printed and how did it change to something else right because... and they even said the monks said that they had done an excellent job making those prints yeah and you saw the print beforehand oh yeah mm -hmm. did the print have these uh, uh the the white apes as well no. it was a completely different valley even oh shit okay yeah you the, the the print initially had the rudam valley this is apparently the valley of the white apes in pamaku have we heard about the white apes before it was measured the valley of the white apes was mentioned once i think or mm -hmm. twice as like yeah, yeah we're gonna go to this place afterwards oh, okay. you know it's kind yeah. of like you know we're gonna we're gonna hit this bar after this bar sure sure it's sure got a funky name cool uh but this is the first time we've sort of seen at least depicted on the on, mm -hmm. on the tab, what these white apes are and you said they're small right they're small creatures you said they're sort of at least from a perspective from a perspective yeah tiny figures of white apes are clambering onto the slopes well wait a second sorry <laughs> so, i'm just gonna say this out loud tiny figures onto small slopes or tiny figures like in the figures background the, <laughs> in the background <laughs> so they could be like my Deep mind size. yeah they could be oh, like or okay. bigger okay, right okay. Okay, big mountains you got some you know rocks and slopes and stuff and you got small little monkeys on them okay okay sure <laughs> this is not this is not this is this is not um, King Kong. Okay, I was just waiting for you know the scene like in Monsters Inc. Welcome to the Himalayas. <laughs> I'm like shit. Okay. You wanna have a snow cone? Yeah, exactly. Oh great, <laughs> a whole bunch of Yetis that are just gonna kill us. Okay, it's fine. No worries. Small, small. I can deal with. Probably, most likely not. But whatever, it's fine. Speaking of which, Sophia, have you taken any pictures of the valley on the way over? Oh, for sure. Absolutely. Yeah. This is like the most picturesque place that you could ask for. So mm -hmm. absolutely. He's taken dozens of them. Oh, yeah. Coming to a postcard near you. Absolutely. <laughs> and you know what? Just for fun, uh, I think since you didn't ask the, the, the llamas to... Um, to take my my uh, photo equipment, I think Sofian would take a picture of the of the tapestry. The yeah. scroll, the print, the scroll. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Sorry, that makes sense. Okay. Um, um, as you sort of set up the picture, Kunchen Chodok says, "It's just sort of like." You see his, his mouth just like shrivel up as, he's, as he wants to protest and just says, You may have a photo photograph, but once this is placed back into this case, it is property of the monastery. Oh, I treasure this. No intention of repossessing it. It's a gift. Simply wanted to, for posterity, try to. try to. Uh, Make a keepsake for our own memories of this. If only for Tenzin's sake, yes? Sort of Tenzin it. nods enthusiastically, and whereas uh, Kunchen Chodak yeah. just says, then I suggest you take very good care of that photograph. Well, I'll take good care of my, and he taps his, his uh, trusty camera i'll take very good of oh, my camera okay. since i haven't developed the photos yet but when i have the opportunity to do so i'll be more than happy to uh put the photos in a very very good place it may well be the only one of its kind ever well i could make it quite a treasure i would say thank you so he just nods his head. 
your task has been complete, and we would like to host you for the night. You are our honored guest. Tomorrow, most generous. Indeed, we are happy to host such individuals who have been blessed by such divine omens. Your beasts of burden will be refreshed, your supplies will be replenished. Please rest and enjoy yourselves. You must have had a arduous journey traversing the valley. Indeed, no. it will be nice to spend the evening in a warm bed. Thank you for your hospitality. Of course. Um, and he sort of he calls for the uh, the nun again and just says, ensure that these guests have food and drink that are appropriate to some, such guests of high esteem. The Ani will see you to your quarters, and I shall, if there are no more questions, I shall see you later this evening, for I have much work to do. Of course. Um, and May will well, sell to him. Will you bestow a, a title upon this new printer? I do not yet know. I believe if the current trend of events are to be taken seriously, I shall have to sleep on it. And maybe it will come to me in a dream. Hmm. Please do let us know. I would like to keep record of this in my journal. Thank you. All right. And so the evening's events are a wonderful Tibetan dinner akin to what you have had in Lhasa and when you were staying in Derge. Although the monks do not partake themselves, they mainly eat vegetarian fare. Um, meat is provided for uh, your consumption should you choose. They do have um, some uh, yak meat available, as well as sangpa and other Tibetan dishes, barleys and the like. There is even a barley beer that is available Ooh. to drink. Oh, now, cha. Yeah, it is, um, it is rather strong, but it is I'll good. have one. Yes. Maybe two. Mm -hmm. As you're staying there, Many monks come up to Tenzin and ask for his blessing, learning that he is a not only a lama, but a one that has been guided by divine um, visions. He's kind of but, <laughs> You also see that he spends much time with the senior monks, uh, sometime at least with the senior monks, uh, debating esoteric and theological issues about Tibetan Buddhism, Tantric Buddhism, and the scriptures that they all know. Uh, know. May sits close enough to listen in, but never interrupts. Yeah, I think, May, also, you're the only one who actually can understand not only the language, <laughs> but also the content. Yeah. Uh, your Lord Buddha, I think both Lord Buddhism and Language Tibetan for you are, like, above 50, mm. right? Uh, let me double check for that. Uh, my Tibetan is 40 and my Lord Buddhism is 49. Close so I enough. might be a little lost here and there, but get most of it. Yeah. Um, there are also a group, there's also a group of Chinese Buddhist monks who are currently visiting the monastery. Um, and they, they also, they speak mainly in Chinese. Right. Um, but can speak a little bit of English. They are uh, polite guests and make um, sparse conversation, but they are very polite about it. 
So um, May will probably chat with them too. Yeah, I agree and chat with them in Chinese. Yeah. Mm-hmm. They're very, uh, they're delighted and su- pleasantly surprised by your um, your fluency in Chinese across the party, uh, save for, for Sophia. There are a couple pilgrims who do speak Hindustani. Oh. So. Good to know. Um, there is always, there is someone here that you can talk to if you, you so wish. Now, um, at some point you do notice that uh, Tenzin speaks with a couple of the, um, what you, what you, uh, Chang Mei, pick up that a couple of the people he's talking to now are some of the tantric masters of the monastery. And he's asking that he's, he asked them for something called a nectar rilbus or a sacred pill. Um, and to which the tantric masters reply, yes, of course. As this is the revered seat of the Nyingmapa esoteric practice. I don't think they'll call it that themselves, but that's what this place is. is. We, of course, have many nectar robes crafted and available. Um, and then leaves, returns with presumably these sacred pills. Would I know what that is? Ooh. That's a good question. Let me check a thing real quick. Go for it. Um, all right. No, give me a lore Buddhism. Alrighty. Fail. Fail. Yeah. yeah, unfortunately. Fortunately, you're not entirely too sure about what this pill it's is. Beyond even my exhaustive study. Yeah. And yeah. So Tantric drugs. Mm, maybe. Hmm. Got got a little uh, a little ketamine. Oh, I was gonna say. <laughs> That's good shit. Wow! 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 Yeah, that's what that is cool. All right. So, is there anything else you all would like to get done on this night at the monastery? Just get some sleep. Once the dinner has ended, May is going to seek out a quiet place to meditate. Because what the monk said to Sophian kind of stuck with her when Sophian asked about purpose. And the monk had said, that's something that you will meditate on through the many lives that you will live. May sits down, she finds a place, and meditates on purpose, on on what they are doing, on how they found themselves in this position, and yeah, that's what she's going to do before she goes to bed. Okay. Mm-hmm. Meditating at a Tibetan temple is probably one of the most serene, calming, and perhaps transcendent uh, experiences one could have in terms of finding introspection of oneself. 
That's what she's hoping for, because it's been a crazy ride. Mm -hmm. Are there prayer wheels at this temple? There are prayer wheels in the Tibetan temple. Okay. I think I'll take a couple of pictures of those, too. Mm -hmm. I do imagine that these pictures will become extremely valuable mm -hmm. for documenting Tibetan culture and the tantric Tibetan Buddhist faiths in the decades to come. Cool. The only reference point I have for prayer wheels is that movie, The Golden Child, <laughs> where he spins the prayer movie. wheel and he's like, because they won't ask they, he has to spin the wheel before he asks the question. Mm -hmm. So he spins the wheel. He's like, I want the knife. <laughs> Am I the only person who remembers this movie? I'm giggling. No. Do you not hear me? Okay. I remember this uh, No, movie. I'm just making sure. I that movie. So good. I remember the Golden Child. Isn't Eddie Murphy in that movie? Yeah. Yep. It definitely cemented my hatred of oatmeal. Oh, God. <laughs> I don't even know what you're talking about. That's okay. We'll do a we'll do a movie watch of the Golden Child, and you'll love it. That would be a good one. It's a great movie. I loved that movie when I was a kid. Yeah, and I suppose the Lockhart's enjoy their time here in the monastery, and uh, there's also Timor, being Timor. Is Timor going to go be shady in the monastery? Tell us how you're shady in the monastery, Timor. Uh, yeah, looking around for interesting historical figures and study them. Yeah. Um, I take a bath. It is a great bath. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. uh, I had a feeling. Mm -hmm. But yeah, Timur, you uh, you see several works of religious art, and well, the part of you that is, in fact, an art expert is pleased and delighted by the craftsmanship and significance of these pieces. It's nice not to have to be, you know, who you really are. A nice change of scenery for once. Rather mm -hmm. peaceful. Strange, but pleasant at the same time. Just wish it was like this all the time. <laughs> I'm sorry, I don't what? want to laugh. I, I'm not. I don't mean to laugh. It's just like it's like a twinge, a twinge of sympathy just came into my <laughs> bones for Timor. <laughs> like. <laughs> <laughs> and then it just went south. It just like went in <laughs> and then it went away. <laughs> I keep forgetting he's a spy. <laughs> you still don't really know. Him. Yeah, I know. There, there, there is more to the story, right? Uh huh. <laughs> <laughs> what? <laughs> <laughs> God. Oh, okay. Okay, I'm done. Getting loopy. <clears throat> anyway. All right. So, need more coffee? <sighs> nope. I'm good. But thanks. Yep. It's the heat now. Mm -hmm. So the day, the night passes, and a new day comes. Well rested. Barley beer hangover slept off. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Charles, do you introduce Tibetan monks to show tunes? Oh god. Um <laughs> definitely. Are we still gaining back some sanity from the last session or No. <laughs> it's just like nope. No. Okay. I believe that was, I I thought that was already handled. Um I feel like I feel like I we already handled that. If you're close to your normal sanity, and then it was handled. Uh, checking. Uh, uh, checking. I am. I'm at full. You have. I'm at. So I'm at one away from yes. 
I think oh. we I, I already got mine up. the last session or something. Yeah, I am like seven down for my max, which is normal for me to be perfectly honest, because I have a sh I'm like mm -hmm. not a lot of I'm sh like eight sanity. down. Yeah, we got we got the sanity bumped out of us, I think, for from something. Mm -hmm. You guys got beat down pretty hard. We saw, yeah, we saw some shit. Yeah, we saw some shit. We saw some shit. By the way, um I don't know if y'all have fixed it yet, but please also fix your health as you would have had at least enough time to heal all that. Oh, nice. Okay. Oh, awesome. God. I don't know if my health is so poor at this point. Red Zelda. Oh, I'm wrong. No. I am wrong. I definitely got m the shit whacked out of it. Yeah, because of grenades. <laughs> so, yeah. you want, uh, sorry, question. Uh, when you say adjust your health, meaning bring full, it. Matt. I did. Full. Okay, full it is. Yeah. Done. Yeah, there would have been enough time between the travel from Lhasa to Derge. Right. Right. And then... And then the yeah. spa day that we're having mm -hmm. here. Yep. Mm -hmm. Yeah. It's so beach you day. Are, so the next day, you are sent back on your way. Um, Kun Chen Chodok does not bid you farewell. He is in his office doing paperwork. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> to be expected. Oh, we know about his dreams! <laughs> Um, I do pop my head in before we leave and say, thank you very much, Lama. We'll see you next time. He hits, you with the, he hits you with the King Baldwin from Kingdom of Heaven. <laughs> <laughs> so and just does not look up from his... Uh, so, I kind of think he disappear. Sofian, like, oh. Sofian just walks up slowly and he puts a, an everlasting gobstopper next to his Mr. Wonka, and then he just walks slowly <laughs> away. Best candy they ever made. <laughs> Um, yeah, the, but the, the young, uh, nun does see you off, um, and she seems to be friends with the young monk guide who has, uh, guided the you across the valley. The, the guy that, that from the Durgay Monastery who showed you the route over seems to be friends with mm -hmm. the, uh, the nun here. So, okay. Gotcha. Okay. Nice. Yeah. So, um, yeah, you're led back three-day journey um nothing tries to murder us what? don't give nothing, don't give him the idea nothing seems to try to murder you okay he said Weird. he said it playing the wrong game i know boston beans be praised suspiciously crazy <laughs> um tenton does go and retrieve some bark from nearby trees namely uh sandalwood yeah, love sandalwood. Smells good. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. May and, kind uh, of follows behind him and also collects some. Basically, anything she sees him collect, she's collecting backups just mm -hmm. in case. Yeah. Um. This this leads you on a little bit of a fun uh goose chase because you see Tenzin just step through the like the brush and the trees, and then it's just like, ah, there it is, and then like. To your horror, you just see a beehive, <laughs> and he just oh. reaches in, grabs some honey, puts it in a pot, and the bees just little like. May just not do that. Yeah. <laughs> no. And like, and then just goes, "Hmm, good job." Mm. Course it. Good job, bees. <laughs> good job, <laughs> good job yeah, of being bees, bees. <laughs> Happy bees make better honey. That's funny. Wow. Be nice to your bees. I was hearing about blue honey one time. Well, just saying the bees got a hold of like some M&Ms or something like that. Oh, God. <laughs> Never heard that story. And God. so, you return to Derge. And are greeted by Yonten Fun Sok. You are, of course, allowed to rest. You can, um, you can, uh, exchange, get more supplies, um, have another bath if you so choose. Yes. And, uh, yeah, you are presented with. A length of rainbow silk inside of another case. And um, 
He shows it to you. It is, in fact, a manuscript. And the manuscript is written, uh, has a title in it called Closing of the Ways. And it's in Tibetan? What language is it? It is in, it is in not just Tibetan, like old-ass Tibetan. So I can read some of it, but not all of it. Yeah. You know, like how when you see like old Chinese, it's like squiggly and like nothing like the sharper looking characters you see today. Mm hmm. Yeah. Okay. Um, <clears throat> at this, Yonten uh, Fun Sok says, I wish you well on your journey to Pemako, the Valley of the White Ape. What is the embodiment of our great goddess, Dorje Pagmo? And he will explain in this handout what that is. Uh, who Dorje Pagmo is. Also known as the Diamond Sao, Dorje Pagmo is an important goddess within the Tibetan Tantric Pantheon, as well as the Queen of all the Dakinis, an incarnation of Tara and consort to Demshok, or Chakra Sambara, she is both a wrathful deity and a Yidam, personal meditation deity, most closely associated with the Kagyu school of Tibetan Buddhism. One living Tolku, incarnation of the goddess, Samding Dorje Pagmo, is always a woman. Her lineage is the only one where this is the case. Her line, started in the 15th century by a princess called Choki Dronma, is the third most powerful in Tibet, outranked only by those of the Dalai and Panchen Lamas. A famous legend about the lineage, whose monastery lies near the holy lake of Yamdrak Tso, is that to protect her monks and nuns from invading Mongols, the sixth Samding Dorje Pagmo turned them all into pigs and sows, which scared the soldiers away. The region of Pemaku in Tibet is said to represent a very different type of physical embodiment of the goddess. The Yarlong Sampo River forms her spine and flows through her chakras, or energy centers. Although there is some debate between the various schools as to exactly where these chakras lie. Some claim that the holy Kagyupa monastery of Rinchen Pong, where the goddess Dakinis and Dakas gather in abundance, sits at her navel. And the mountain, Namche Barwa, which stands at the entrance of the great Bayul of Pemaku, is claimed to be her right breast. Oops. Now, with the scroll in hand and this manuscript, you have all three components for the ritual. Oh, shit. Okay. Weed. The animals that you took to Derge have been watered, refreshed, and are ready to travel back towards um, the direction of Lhasa, at least. As the, the animals within the system of the valley should be staying in the valley for transport and the like. Um, but yeah. Your journey is yours to take. So where do we take... These yeah, so three where are artifacts. we going and how long is it going to take to get there? Yeah. All right. Good Good question. Let me bring this back to a token layer. We're moving now from this flag over. Where are you? <clears throat> Excuse me. <clears throat> to Number five. right around here. Yeah. Okay. Da Xing. 
You're looking specifically for Cham Do, but I do not see that currently on this. It, uh, it's, oh, it's number five on the location, so it's yeah. right here. Yeah, so you should be passing around here. So just south of Dushing, basically. Yeah. God, that's why I quite dashing. We're not dashing. Mm -hmm. We're going at a leisurely pace. I'm kidding. I'm okay. dashing. <laughs> We're dashing to save the world. <laughs> dashing while looking dashing. Oh dear. Dashing. So you dashing. <laughs> On a one yak open sleigh. Oh no. Uh... <laughs> or the mounts we go. Uh, Chanting all the way. This is painful. <laughs> it is. I'm going to stop this. Please. Um, and so, after two Can't days of travel, things. Um, you reach the bottom of a broad, dry valley. Save the world, we will. You can certainly try. Um, although not the most hospitable wet place to make camp, to push on further would involve a steep climb back into the mountains and the prospect of a far colder and rockier campsite for the night. Okay. Yes, I suppose we'll camp in the rain. Yeah. In it's dry, rain. fortunately. It oh. is dry. It's just that um, this place of the valley is just... You would rather camp down here and save your strength to go up the mountain again the next day. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh, fun. Yeah. And so the porters that you have, they begin to set up the camp and all that. They put down all their gear. They, they stretch out their shoulders. Tents are put up and stuff. A fire gets going. That sort of thing. Mm -hmm. Nice. And, uh, yeah. So. May does a little Tai Chi to loosen herself up after the long day's walk. Charles stares out of the mountain and is... Eleanor would like to learn Tai Chi. <laughs> of course. We never come oh. to my Tai Chi lessons. Yes. Oh, and yes. I, uh, in case it wasn't um, specified, all of your weapons have been returned to you oh, from the uh, Dogchen Monastery, um, including the gloves. <laughs> ah, yes, the most dangerous of weapons. Yes. Um, but yeah. Tai Chi is done in the evening. Um, and uh, one by one, you head off to sleep. May would also spend, uh, before we go to sleep, May would spend a little bit of time with Tenzin looking at the manuscript, trying to, having him help her figure out the parts that she can't read as well. Mm -hmm. And uh, T Tenzin does say, yeah, so this is, and and he just explains like, you know, it's been, it's been almost a thousand years since I've seen this one. It's just like I, re I read it yesterday. Mm. Huh. I have books I feel that way about. Mm. So maybe not a thousand years. Mm. It does feel like that. The. These books that you have, do you ever remember the flow of it, but the exact words are... They weren't quite there, but I suppose that's just memory. I have been in a cave for a long time, and mm. someone stole my well, scroll. Of course, but you read a story and, or tale, and you remember... You remember the story, but you don't necessarily remember the exact words that were used to tell it. Hmm. Indeed, indeed. Though I have a feeling in this case the exact words are a bit more important, which is why I want to understand them. Yes, and I am I am glad that you are you have joined me in this. We will be reviewing the ritual itself. Um once we reach the valley and are Nearing the final stages. Of course. And so, even that 
at some point, Tenzin does call it a night, rolling carefully rolling up the manuscript, mm-hmm. placing it in the case. And, uh, yeah. And off to sleep where we shall be tormented by dreams. <laughs> In the Kunchan, in the in Zhongshan Monastery, several nights ago, Kunchan Shodok sits up at its with a start, breathing heavily, sweat dripping from his brow. The peace, the Sangha. Its name is Judgment. And he mops his brow, blinks, and falls back asleep. And though he tries, he stirs back up again and says, I must go. And he hurries off into the night. Oh my god. In the temple. Oh. What the fuck? This was several nights ago. After we had departed. We had already left, yeah. We already left. Yeah. Oh, okay, okay. Oh, yeah. Great. Super. But then he just waved us away when we left in the morning. Like, later, guys. It's all good. <laughs> Yeah, he's Gandalfing the fuck out of this place. Like, honestly, like, come on. Be, be right Grab a moss back. or something. Be right back in a minute. Okay. Mm-hmm. Um. Yeah. Well, since um, Timur is has not hit the REM cycle yet, sleepwalking and trying to find a bathroom. Mm-hmm. I would like. Those of you here make a listen roll. Okay. Okay. Booyah, Kasha! Nice. Uh, 18. 18. Oh, shoot. Damn! Hard success. All right. Same thing for Charles. Women, however, are deeply asleep. This is so unrealistic. The men are listening and the women aren't? What the fuck? No, no, no. Breaking Matt, convention. Matt, Matt, the difference is that the men are only listening in their dreams. <laughs> <laughs> Good job, Jonathan. Uh, well um, so... Sophia, and you got the lower number, but I got to do Charles. Go it. Okay. Do it. Charles. Yep. As you find yourself resting in your tent with Dr. Lockhart, your dear wife, faintly you hear Sound of singing, singing. Do I recognize the, the tune? You do not recognize the tune. Do I recognize the language? You do not recognize the language. Ah. Um, it's outside the tent, I'm assuming, right? Do you open your eyes? Yes. You are laying on the floor of a forest with your dear wife beside you. It's a lush grove. And you hear the singing coming from the distance. 
Is it in a, is it like a pleasant tone or is it like a dissonant tone? It is a very pleasant tone. I'll, uh, yeah, let's try. Uh, can I rouse Eleanor? You try to rouse Eleanor, and though she does stir, she's not really there, right? She's there, yeah. but, like, she's not really cautious yet. Right. Very, you know, sleepy. Okay. Okay, I get up and head towards the music. Just yourself, or...? Uh, as, do, do I see anybody else with me here besides you're Eleanor? Only, you're only with Eleanor. Uh... I to go. <laughs> yeah, I, I guess. Yeah, I'll just, I mean, I, I can't rouse you, so... Yeah, I guess I'll just... I'll so, go. So, just to be clear, she's like... You know when, like, you're really early up in the morning, right? And yeah. you haven't had your coffee yet? Uh-huh. It's like, she's awake and, like, moving and stuff, and she's like, you know, what's, what's going on? But, like, she's not really mentally fully there yet. Got like, it. So I... I I lean in very close to her ear and I say uh, something that Eleanor would really love. I'm just going to say bacon's on. <laughs> and like <laughs> you, you do notice that like it does get Eleanor's attention. Yeah. But she's still like not fully woken up yet. But she's not wherever this is. Okay, mm -hmm. so I have to leave her. And coffee. I mean, you don't you don't have <laughs> so the, she's still like awake and stirring. Like she can move, but like physically. Got it. It's just but... that she hasn't arrived. Her mind hasn't arrived yet. Got it. All right, I'll uh I'll, I need to yeah, I'll guide her towards the I'm going to say to I'm going to whisper in her ear, "Follow the smell of bacon, darling," and I'll kind of guide her along with me. Okay. Sophion. Yeah. Describe, describe to me how you wake up in this verdant grove. Uh, I think I'm just relaxed for the first time in such a long time. And I sort of feel the sheets on my skin and... It feels like such a pleasant experience. And then I open my eyes just for a second and I don't see the sheets on my body anymore and I don't see the bed anymore and I just go... What? What's going on? I sort of sit up. What's... What's happening? Turning around. Sufyan has his own religious beliefs, obviously. He's mm -hmm. um he's Muslim actually. Yeah. So for him, you know this is um you know, depictions in dreams are not uncommon in the Quran. So he feels like maybe this is some kind of a religious Epiphany or moment that he's having. Yes, yeah, so those thoughts run through your mind. You hear a faint singing. Is it in a, a voice I recognize or language I recognize? It is not. It is neither a voice or a language you recognize. But it's pleasant singing of a woman's voice. I guess I will stand up and walk in the direction of this voice. Right. Timur and Shang Mei. 
two of you also hear this uh hear this singing even though i failed you now hear it and it seems to draw your body to rouse and come close and go closer just to see what what's that sweet sound huh. um as you all as you all are, go, are rousing and like making your way through this grove you see that there are these bountiful trees okay. all bear, bearing these different fruits would anyone like to roll a check to determine what these are sure what sure. got okay. what got check you can do natural world science botany or your favorite lore buddhism <laughs> I mean, we know which one I'm going for. Obviously. Nope, I fail. Yes. Um, for breakfast. God. Ah! <laughs> oh! Do you recognize the bacon, Eleanor? Look so at the knows. different types of bacon. Mm. My natural world mm. is not bad. Let's try it. Or not. Remember, so you can push close. rolls in this game. I will. I know. I keep forgetting that. I have natural rolls. I do. I am. Oh, so close! Oh. It looks like bacon. It's a lovely mm -hmm. strip of bacon you're looking at. <laughs> Are you gonna push it, Sophia? Yes, I am. I'm gonna push it. I push it real good. I I'm, <laughs> I look at this this piece of fruit on the tree, and I just sort of look at it. Just a little closer, sort of bring it to my face. Sniff it. And I don't no. know what the hell it is at and it all. Blows up in your nose. Explodes up, yes. <laughs> <laughs> oh, killed by Covering fruit! Goop. Yeah, the, the fruit just sort of like bursts in your hand into a <sighs> sticky, like sweet. Um, and it's in, in that, like, it, cause, and as you like hold it, it's sort of like just squished. And. In the dark, it's kind of you only been able to see like the general shape of it and the feel and the texture, and now the smell has gotten to you. Oh God, you've got a mango. Oh, okay. oh. Well, um, mangoes. Now I'm really disappointed. Yeah, I love mangoes, man, and it like I squish a mango and I don't get to eat it. That bad. That's bad. I mean, you still have the mango in your hand, man. Yeah, but it's it's, you it's still have the mango in your hand, man. <laughs> a mango in your hand. It's not like Sophia <laughs> would just be like, just like with a mango. Is there other, any other way to eat a mango? Yeah. Mango. No, you chop up a mango. That's the way to really eat a mango. Mangoes are amazing. Yeah. All right. All right. Um, yeah, Shang Mei, you identify, with your success, you identify that the different trees here are mango, banana, pepala, or sacred fig, also known as a bodhi, uh, uh or body, B-O-D-H-I. There's Arjuna and walnut. Ooh, I'll take a fig. Yeah. Shang Mei, you also know that these are all sacred trees of the charnel grounds. Mm. And you know that these do not grow in Tibet. That's it. How do you relay that information to the others? You are alone. Oh, never mind. Okay. Uh, I will relay this to no one. Mm -hmm. But I will I will pluck a fig I'm not going to eat it yet I'm just going to take it mm -hmm. it is night time as you all walking towards the singing Dr. Lockhart you are being led by the hand you see it there's a faint glow like a f campfire in the distance direction of the singing and Dr. Lockhart, with the singing and the sounds and 
through bleary eyes. This feels all too familiar, as you are being led by a man towards a campfire. A dream you had a long, long ago. Do I recollect anything more from this dream? Let me scroll all the way back up to that one. Um, Come on. Where's my bullet points? A memory of a dream within a dream. An inception. Oh you God. so I think you simply only remember the glowing light and it weirdly connected to Charles' dream, where you arrived. You arrived to see him with his hands bloody. Mm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. That's right. So it's a sense of deja vu almost. Yeah. And it's in this moment that your consciousness from then rockets your consciousness now into this you dream wherever you are. I squeeze Charles's hand. Oh, hello, darling. I have a feeling we've been here before, or perhaps we're just meant to be. Ah. Well, I guess we'll find out. Do you hear that singing? Do I recognize anything about the singing? Um, what you you happen to know? Uh, what language do you know? Um, Chinese, Italian, and English. You do not recognize um, the language, <laughs> though it does sound relatively similar to Chinese. <laughs> Chiang Mei, you recognize this as Tibetan. <laughs> Do we see everyone else, John, at this point, or are we still all individuals? So, you do see everyone in this clearing of the grove. Uh oh. Oh, snap! Oh. No, we're back here again. Okay, so I, I pulled Charles to face me, and I say, My memory. And with your hands bloodied. My eyes widen. <laughs> Do I remember the dream I had, John? The dream that you had was reminiscent of when you were um, digging through guts in Rajgir. Yeah. Does that relate to this or no? Yes. So way back when, you all had dreams. And Dr. Lockhart was led through her dream to a gathering place, like a campfire, a clearing. While you had found yourself looking at with your hand, looking down at your hands covered in blood as you were digging through bodies, right. and peeling skin and such. And yeah. the two dreams collided. That's right. Okay. Please, Charles, be careful. I will, Doc. Nah, I vaguely remember my dream. <laughs> my dream Emo, would you like a refresher? I think mine was just going through an endless <laughs> rain of blood or something like that. <laughs> should be like, yeah, there was a there was a flood, there was a rain of blood and leeches. Right. Yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> In mine, there was a. There was birds, and then a seated figure surrounded by flower petals, which we later figured out was Tenzin. Mm. Yes. And Please. Sophion, to nice close time. this out, Sophion's dream was about the ash-covered sadhu, um, also in Rajgir, the um, the guy who started throwing poop. Oh, yeah. yeah. Was so everybody else kind of dreamt about Rajgir, and I dreamt about where we were at the time. 
All right. So, the singing falls to a murmur, and this one right here. Oh, sure. You see seven figures. Seven women. Impossibly beautiful. Knew they were sirens. One. I just... Who addresses you has red skin. And going clockwise from her. Blue. Black. Three pink. And finally, one whose skin is like cream. Mm. And she says... I... Oh, mm -hmm. oh, you go first. I was going to say, May will look to the women <laughs> and bow and say, Dorje Pagmo, it is an honor to be in your presence. The woman, the red woman, smiles and says, Oh, we are but servants of Dorje Pagmo. <coughs> and we welcome you to this feast, a celebration. Please come, sit with us, dine with us. We insist. And in fact, where they are sitting right now is your campsite. Oh, okay. Mabel will join their circle and take a seat. Yeah. yeah. And as you all sort of sit, you notice that they actually arrange themselves such that they are between okay. each of you. Oh. Um, May, I gotta move you over here because... Tenson's oh, okay. got to be here for reasons. Fair. <laughs> um, and as this is all happening, Tenson says, says, um, this is a great omen, my friends. Just do not panic. Remember that you have been selected for a reason and it will be just fine. I believe in you all. Don't die. What? <laughs> what? What? <laughs> the what? And he like he just sits down, uh, just takes a seat, and just like has a cheerful smile on his face. Mm -hmm. May kind of cl closes her eyes and like rubs the beads of her mala between her fingers and tries to find that peace that she found in the monastery because she wasn't scared until Tenzin said that. And, or she wasn't um, nervous, I should say, until Tenzin said that. And indeed, this is what uh, this is what the figures look like. Sad's color. Nice. Mm -hmm. I love their skull crowns. I want one. Mm-hmm. Me too. And that really cool neck. Hey. So, as you now have a better look at them with the light, you notice that they have, they are indeed naked except for the ornaments, a girdle, necklace, Bands about their upper arms, wrists, and ankles, and the skull headdress. I need everyone to first roll a sandy check. Yeah. Let's go! Whoa. Oof. Ooh, nice. Uh. No, baby. Oh, oh Eleanor. Oh, so bad. Too okay. good, too bad. The two of you, I would like to you to roll 1d3, and that is the sanity you will lose. Okay. Glad I decided to close my eyes and meditate for a second. One point. 
Okay. Of course. And uh, it's stop the lock. Yeah. Is this what I Uh Roll forward slash 1d3. Forward slash R1d3. Forward slash R, yeah. That worked. That's what it is, yeah. Forward slash R. And then 1d3. Nice, you too. Perfect. Uh, well, no. But she rolled no. as a one. She did, she put a space in between it. No space. Oh, yeah, okay. no space. Honey. So, yeah. No space after the one. There you go. There you go. Oh. Still better one. Nice. Okay. Just as yeah. good. So... You also notice that one of the Dakini next to you, there's one for each, one sitting, one each sitting next to you. The Dakini next to you actually shimmers. And if you are a man, Timur, Sophia, and and Charles, the Dakini next to you, is now a man. Um, when you say next to me, because I'm sort of in between. To the right. So the pink one to over here. North. Okay, okay. To okay. the north of you. Yeah. Okay. And so. They all draw you, attempt to draw you closer to the fire. Please, come, drink, dance, feast with us. And they each take you by the hand and draw you closer. Okay. Yeah. Um, yeah, I'm going to try to discern any kind of deception. Or any Ooh. kind of uh, willful uh, prevarication here with these Ooh. individuals. Yeah, about the say, like psychology check, maybe, or I would want you to both to make a pow roll. A pow roll, okay. Wait, yes. Both of us? Yes. All right. Pow is not great, but here we go. Okay. Pow it is. Success. Okay. Hey. Hey. Both double success. You meant to hold yourself, hold that weary, world weariness that um, has served you well for so long. I will allow you to make your psychology rolls. Oh, nice. Psychology. Uh, uh, eh? yeah, he, Timur. Yeah. Unfortunately, Sofiana, they are hard to read because they are, in fact, very fetching to the eyes. Okay. That's a completely fair argument. Um, and you're also distracted by the fact there are five miniature skulls in their headdress. Oh. <laughs> more from the psychology, your ch psychology check. Indeed, they want you to join them. They just want you to sit and feast and eat and drink. Nothing more. I guess might as well take the time to divulge in some fun times. Okay. Thanks. Yeah, I'm a Buddhist. I'm just rolling with it. <laughs> Charles is dead body. So, I woke up hungry because you promised me bacon. <laughs> and indeed, as you get closer, it gets warmer and hotter because there's not only a pot on the fire, but also like this pan 
of the most beautiful bacon you've ever seen in your life, Eleanor. Oh, yeah. That was good. <laughs> I was so Thick delighted. Cut, perfect. <laughs> yeah. Like, it is, this is, like, this image of bacon will come to uh, Hiyo Miyazaki in a dream when he makes mm -hmm. Howl's Moving Castle. Nice. Oh. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Um, and yeah, and curiously, all of these women are speaking in languages you understand. And now, gathered around the fire, the red-skinned uh, woman addresses all of you. You have traveled long to reach this place. Feast, dance and sing as our guests. You are welcome here. Stay with us now and rest for as long as you require. One by one, the sisters begin to ladle steaming bowls of stew and plates of bacon for you, mm -hmm. Dr. Lockhart. Um, while another gathers fruits from armfuls of fruits and flowers adorning you all with these beautiful blossoms and handing out these ripe mangoes and beautiful bananas and dates and figs. Two more disappear into the trees and return with a large bucket from which they later out, out the familiar white liquid into more bowls of barley beer. And indeed, it is very thick, like thicker than Guinness. Mm. <laughs> and good. To, you, to your surprise Tenzin the Tibetan Lama a Buddhist monk is sitting there happily eating meat he's happily eating the stew and drinking the beer that's it I see this. I'm sitting next to him, right? Yeah, you, you see him. I just kind of give him like a look, like, like, one of those looks like, should you be doing that? Oh, do not worry. I'm, as a tantric practitioner, mm, this is very good. You, should, you must have some. Um, <laughs> I, am a, I am able to partake in such substances like um, alcohol, chang, and meat, um, in moderation. I only have one okay. bowl. Um, All right. I'll, uh, I'll take of... some of this, the stew and, and chow down. Mm -hmm. um, I can have some as part of a uh, part of a ritual or a uh, okay. or like. So this is... I, I, can only uh, imagine the, I can only imagine the food quality was like during your time. Mm. Yeah. It's delicious. And <laughs> madam, this is this is exquisite. Compliments to you. And uh, she just goes, I, I Oh so. Oh, this is my sister's on I worked tirelessly for this uh for this meal. All for you, please. Um Yeah, and it is enticing. I need everyone to make a pow roll. Uh oh. Another one. Oh. Oh no. Power failure. Uh oh. Okay. Hmm. <laughs> no questions. Only bacon. Only <laughs> bacon. So Timur, I want to know what you're eating. Oh man. I think I'm mainly just focusing on that, like. Made a lot of the meats. Yeah. And versus Russia. <laughs> it's tradition. Russia. Uh, we have the meats. 
<laughs> no, 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 Matt. In Mother Russia, meat has you. Meat has you. <laughs> meat has you. Meat has you. <laughs> There's just like a Cyrillic Arby's, like Arby's. <laughs> the meat has you. The meat it has you. <laughs> Siberia meat oh, yeah, like... <sighs> Okay. So that's like having some of the bacon, oh my some gosh. of the other like there's like other types of like different like meats and veggies, right? Like we got lamb. There is lamb. Oh yeah, baby. Oh yeah, mm -hmm. fucking yeah. lamb. Yeah. The lamb. Uh, and in fact, it's the good. um, yes. the sister next to you, Timor, is actually like <laughs> holding a lamb chop for you as you eat it. <laughs> God. At that, she whispers to you, and Eleanor, you. Um, here, the, the assistant next to you whisper as well. Is this not so wonderful, so delightful? No more worries, no more stress, no more ordeals of the road, no more horrors of the world. Seeking to end your path, to chase you down. Don't you remember the simpler times? Simplicity of just a good rasher of bacon. Oh, it is exquisite. Indeed. And we are so grateful for this reprieve. But is this not suspicious at all? <laughs> You're hearing these words as you continue to eat the bacon. Because of the pal fail. Well, and she just says, I'm charmed. <laughs> Don't you wish to stay as long as you wish? It seems a little too good to be true. I've succeeded in my pal role. Yeah, Charles, so... you don't hear this. Oh, I don't hear it? Oh, great. You don't hear it. Shit! This lady oh, is nah. whispering in your wife's ear. Oh, oh my. Oh, my God. How does that make me feel? Jelly. Wait for your turn. Okay. <laughs> I'm just eating stew. So good. Duchess Eleanor. If there was a way oh, to boy. forget, if there was a way to forget things, I might eat this kitty. Oh, hey. oh boy! Yeah. <laughs> that was a good Too bite. Too floopy. <laughs> yeah. So okay. You can't see what's almost behind us. No. As a kitty. Yeah. She only lets me hold her this long Timor. when I'm on stream. She just wants to Timor. show how cute she is. And Doctor Lockhart. Can you please make me constant? What do you uh, need, Sorry, John? Timor Carl? and Doc and Doctor Lockhart. Got it. Got it. Got it. Do we get eaten by beautiful goddesses? <laughs> yeah. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. So, yeah. so <laughs> by succeeding these con con rolls, you do not get the itis. The itis. <laughs> oh. this, this is the Martin Luther. What? Yeah, you do, you do not fall it's asleep from the sheer amount of food that you are consuming. Oh, uh, the itis. Consuming. Okay, okay, okay. Yeah. The itis. However, oh, however, Sophian and Charles. The fuck? We we, we what? <laughs> yeah. What <do> we do? <laughs> we succeeded, Matt. Which yeah, means I know. We failed? I don't know. I need to. I need the two of you. Oh great! Yeah. Right. This is this is to good. make a sanity roll. Shit, oh, man! Shit. Whoa. Whoa. We don't even know what the hell That's we saw. I mean. Oh no! <laughs> you know what this means? It means I'm gonna fucking fail. All right here we go. Never bubble. Never roll yeah. your sanity before mine. Oh, oh. oh balls. Oh. 
The Fion. Fuck. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Oh, boy. Don't do that. Don't say that, Jonathan. <laughs> oh, boy. Don't say, oh, boy. That makes me feel all shriveled up inside. Come on, man. Just hit me. Do it. First of all, yes? that was Lockhart. Please take one point of sanity loss. Woo! Okay. Oh, God. Sophia and Bazaar's Wayne. Yes. Yeah, Please take know. six points of sanity well, loss. Well, I'll see you Ooh! next week, folks. Temporary <laughs> crazy. Here we go. Let's yeah. go. You Let's go. Also roll. Yeah. I Please think... roll intelligence. Yep, 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 yep. No. Yep, yep, yep. No, 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 no. And I, I want... I want to fail. To, to fail this. You want you to fail this. Problem is, I'm kind of a smart guy. Kind, I'm, I'm not right. gonna, not gonna lie, but I'm, I'm kind of a big deal. Um, yeah, here we go. Come on. Uh, yeah, intelligence. This is where I fall off a cliff. Meow. Meow. Yep, yep, yep. Oh. So I recognize, Meow. I recognize this. Uh, yeah. Uh huh. Yeah. Let's go. Let's, let's make it happen. The dryad siren makes you kill yourself. Just kidding. Let's go, let's go. Oh, God. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Let's go. Okay. Hit me. Um, Give him the amnesia. The amnesia's always fun. The itis. <laughs> so, Fion. No, you get, please, yeah, I get the itis. Fion. Yeah. Actually, I have a better madness table. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> He's got the better madness. This is when he busts out yeah. the better madness tables when I'm really fucked. It's cool. It's cool. It's cool. It's cool. Let's go. Cool, 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 cool. It's just a part of my thing. Being. Hey. Um, Sophion, please roll me. You know, I, I, I don't know if you've ever been asked this before. Please, please roll me 2D100. Not in recent memory, but I'll do it now. Uh, Charles, please roll, roll me 1D100. Oh, dear. Oh. Okay. It's a 97 and a 23. Oh, excuse me. Okay, we're taking the worst of those. Mm -hmm. 97, I'm assuming. I don't know. Or, oh, well, I don't um, know, it depends on the table, oh, and, I guess. And uh, both of you make me con rolls. Jesus, you're oh, really no? piling it on, aren't you, Jonathan? Well, it's cool. A lot of things just happened at once. That's fine! I don't even know what the fuck no! I just saw! Oh, oh my god, I almost fumbled. Oh, okay. I was doing so good in my rolls. You didn't fumble. So, you didn't fumble because your score is over six, over fifty. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, so two things are gonna, several things are gonna happen. Well, wait, 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 wait. Let me, hold on. Let you gotta roll I, con. I gotta my con. Hold on, here we go. Ready? Okay. Whoop -a -doo. There you go. Okay. Oh, there you go. Okay. You're this welcome. weirdly all works out. I love it. All right. <laughs> I don't know what that <laughs> means. Nice no, John. Okay. Um, this music is so deceivingly pleasing too, which is just like ah, oh, like even hear it. So Where calm. Yeah, no, I I had to turn. I actually opened up Roll Twenty from a separate browser, mm -hmm. just so I could hear the music. Cause yeah, because I'm not getting it right now in Firefox. Weird. Mm -hmm. Sad face. Yeah, I was having a my little computer. bit of an issue. Oh, really? I'm I'm running Firefox, and it's fine. We turned it up. My, I turned it up. My, I turned it up my, high, though, sir. It's like seventy turned, or more. No, I literally just turned it up to a hundred. Oh, I don't. Know. Um, but my both computer's being weird. Today. Yes, both you. Uh, natural world, please. More rolling. Yeah. Cool. There's a lot happening. This came from a success. <laughs> May's just over here eating a mango, watching everyone go set, like go slowly insane. <laughs> Their eyes just keep moving. <laughs> What's happening in there? <laughs> Nirvana. Ma ma ma. Ma. Okay. All right. Oh, yeah. Chris is doing that. I'm doing this. Uh, and Chris, where <laughs> are you in my in my Discord? There you are. Great. Oh God, are you sending me a PM right now? I'm sending you a PM right now. 
Oh, oh no! Oh, this, oh, this is God. the best kind Don't of role playing. Look, Vanessa, avert your eyes. It's the best kind of role playing. Is is the private oh, message shit. role playing? Okay. Let's, um, go, let's go. Let's go. Let's go. So you have read the. You are reading this right now. I'd say everybody watch Chris's face. <laughs> Matt, you also have a message. Oh, I got a message. Okay, hold on. What's saying? Yes. Reading. <laughs> Chris's face right now is amazing. Oh my god. <laughs> I'm looking at Twitch just so I can see. Oh your my god! <laughs> I just print screened Matt's face because it was crazy. <laughs> uh, so Charles just so starts laughing uncontrollably and then just starts puking. Yeah. <laughs> oh, and Sophia's eyes roll back into the tops of his eye sockets and then falls to the ground i think i'm still conscious yeah john you, you are still conscious but uh i'm kind of like i'm out of i'm out of commission for a minute right you are out of commission for yeah, okay oh god let's see are you pming me the time frame or are you just gonna say it i'm gonna minimize hang on yeah. hang on one one second um Show it to you later. <laughs> Don't make me regret eating the bacon. This is this is rough, dude. This is rough. I'm shit. not saying anything about the bacon. No. <laughs> I knew it was too good. I to played the fifth. This is rough. I played the brah. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I played the brah. Oh wait, no. I, I I I read that wrong. Um, hang on. That's not the right number. Oh Jesus. And that one is. Okay. That's okay. Oh, okay. It's not that number? That is, is the it... correct number now. Oh, you edited it. Okay. 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 Cool. Okay. Yeah. Oh, wow. Okay. 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 I'm so I'm gonna grab a okay. beer because I'll see you guys next week. Uh yeah. Cool. So Yeah. As Sophion go highs roll up to back of his head and just simply stops. Just stops. Right, and Charles, um, you begin laughing, and uh, <laughs> you just yeah, you just vomit, and the the key, the uh, the sister next to you who has like a cream color to her skin, all um, actually now looks more like in the light looks more like bleached bone. It says, "Oh dear, um." Don't worry, I shall take care of him. Come this way, and just starts um, easing you back on onto your side, and just like soothing you. Um, and Doctor Lockhart, if you try to look away, the the, key, the uh, sister next to you just pulls you back, and just says, "Please, we have more bacon." <laughs> what? My husband's. He will be all right. He's not well. <laughs> Oh, nope. will drool. Come on. Uh, the food is quite delicious. Most likely more delicious than anything he's ever had before, and it has an effect on people. <laughs> Heavenly. It's too rich. Too rich for my blood. blood. <laughs> yeah, not experienced with him before. And as that is happening, and like, this just sort of like. Sues, but also quiets Charles to his um, vomiting. Uh, the red-skinned uh, sister says, "Well, please do not let uh, these small, um, these small uh, <laughs> unfortunate moments, um, moments of shock and surprise." Get in the way of the events tonight. The night is young. We've only just begun. 
And you all watch as she stands before Tenzin and begins to undress. Here we go. And that is where we're going to take a break. God damn it! Oh boy. And I'm catatonic! <laughs> catatonic for this shit, man. Now this, okay, so this is the, what's stressing, go, this is what's going to stress May out, because I've just been sitting there eating like everyone's having a weird time, but it's all good over here. Oh yeah, it's I mean, great. I mean, Eleanor and I are fine-ish, I think. Oh no, I mean, I'm the only one who didn't have to roll anything. She's, I'm just chilling out. Oh yeah. Oh, we'll see what happens. <laughs> all right. So. Oh, uh, yeah. Take a quick you've break. Yeah. yeah, you've been watching Children of Fear. Quick break. Pop up the water. Yeah, yo. See you in a little bit. Hi, guys. Welcome back to Children of Fear. We are in Chapter 5, by the way. Feast and Famine. Hmm. That's what I it's called. What right <laughs> okay. I forgot to mention that. Did I, I forgot to mention that? Thank you. Was this death and taxes? <laughs> no, it's Chapter 6. Don't say that. <laughs> Actually, death and taxes should be chapter seven. <laughs> Bankruptcy joke. I get it. I got it. I got it. I, got I it wasn't it. that good. It's fine. It wasn't that good. By the way, uh, Chris Fire. and Matt, for Sofiane and uh, Charles, I will let you know when you are both, when each of you are back. Okay, cool. To your senses. Yeah. But, um, yeah. Have at, Keeper. Have at. So, we return to <laughs> we return to around a couple minutes in the future, and the Redskin sister is now with Tenzin, joined in the Yabyum position in a near reenactment of the image of the Thanka that you you delivered to Dogchen Monastery. May is not looking. As this happens, each of the Dakini next to you, Chang Mei, Sofian, and Timur. So, Sofian, you are catatonic. That doesn't mean that you are... Your mind is only, like, frozen, basically. Like, blue-screened. Right? Sofian? Oh, I'm sorry. I thought that you told me when I was coming back in. I'm... <laughs> Matt. Yeah. Um, I'm just, I'll let you know when you're no longer catatonic. Okay. And, um, Chris slash Charles, I will let you know when you no longer, when the uh, Joker gas wears off. <laughs> um, but yeah. So your mind kind of like blue screened, but your body is still there. Mm -hmm. Right? Mm-hmm. I'm lending context here. Please. So, Chang Mei, Sofian, and Timur. The Dakini, I'm going to call them what they are now, next to you. You look at them. Well, they have you. They take you by the cheek and they turn your face to look at them. They now look like the most beautiful, beautiful person you've ever seen as consistent with your character's preferences. However that may be. And for the Lockhearts, the, the two Dakini, instead of splitting you apart, bring you together. And you all hear Why continue from this paradise into a world of such pain? Why continue on this quest upon which you are so deceived? When you can stay here and live in such delight, won't you stay? We will make it worth your while all the way to eternity.
It's also worth noting, the monk is actively engaging in a sexual intercourse, which is mm -hmm. also a huh moment. Mm -hmm. Really, Tenzin? <laughs> He's busy. Tenzin just says, busy right now. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, God. Jesus Christ. Uh. You do, however, notice that um, as if sort of like these words are sort of repeating in your minds, um, you do notice that after they complete their uh, yabium, um, tends and politely declines to do another. <laughs> <laughs> You've lost <laughs> that love and feeling. <laughs> um, but yeah, how do how do all of you respond? Um, Timo, you've already been happily uh, having the lamb. Eleanor, you've had the bacon too. Changmei, you've been going along with this as well. Yeah. Uh... With the the Dakini saying this to her and having seen what she just saw, she sort of takes the mango she's been eating and sets it down on the ground and says, Yes, it is lovely here, but we cannot stay. Okay. Tea girl, it's okay. Just staying just here staying. would rather be pleasant. One cannot stay in paradise forever. Rather to face reality out there. It has been lovely, but I feel we must return to civilization. Charles is not doing well. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Charles, um, while you're laughing, you do see the, be the your beautiful wife beside you, more beautiful than you've ever seen her before. Possible. Oh. May uh. <clears throat> looks to the Dakini next to her and says, Why do you say that we have been deceived in our quest? Oh, don't worry about it. There's nothing. You do not have to worry about it anymore. And she and the Dakini gives you a sweet smile. Um, I don't even. I don't know what she, whether or not uh, the Dakini is a woman or a man at this point. It would be a man, for me. Right. Unlike every other character I ever play in D and D, I'm pretty sure May is very much on the straight path. I don't know why that repulsed my husband, but hey. Uh, <laughs> uh, <laughs> that's just a very uh, funnel, funnily timed video game reaction there. <laughs> uh, say, but I must worry about that. I cannot stay here in paradise and allow the rest of the world to suffer because I've failed. Sorry. Hmm. Okay. Sophion. <laughs> I wonder. While your mind is still sort of processing due to the shock what had happened, what you had seen, does your body how does your body react? Because I feel like there are baser instincts and thoughts that still protect us, even when in your state. I think my body would roll up into a fetal position. <clears throat> Natural. Very well. Yeah. Timor, 
what has been your response to this Dakini who has approached you, presumably looking like a Russian ballet dancer? No. Mm -hmm. Perhaps one you may have known. A little hesitant at first. I I need you not remind me of who I'm actually fighting for. Thank you. Okay. Just <sighs> Sorry, I'm actually trying to think. Uh mm -hmm. take your time. world needs less darkness for her to shed her light around in. Pushes me forward. All right. That's your answer. As you each give your responses, despite the warmth of the campfire, the air grows cold as ice. Gone are friendly smiles and touches. A bowl of stew clatters to the ground. Another bowl of Chang spills and sloshes on the floor. The red-skinned Takini looks at Tenzin. You. You. You may have lived a thousand years, but you are just a boy. You've only been a boy guided by a silly dream. Taking up your paints and leaving all of those people. You don't even know how they searched for you. You never told them the truth that you simply ran from your temple, did you? You are such a coward making these... Mortals, do your dirty work. It's always been like this. Pathetic! And she spits on Tenzin. Chang Mei. You just hear the Dakini's words change from that, those, that tone just whispering in your ear. This quest will not make you any more memorable to history, you'll be forgotten like everyone else. You just stop here. There's no point. In fact, you'll be buried in these mountains like everyone else. Forgotten. I don't do this <sighs> to be remembered. I do this to help. And your help is worthless. All futile. You are nothing. You will not even be a modicum of what Beck Dr. Lockhart is. And Sophia, in your cat, in your curled up fetal position, you hear a voice say, He's never coming back. He's not even waiting for you. 
You are alone. And wherever you go, you will still be alone. No amount of pictures will bring back the real thing. So stay here. And let this be the only real thing that is real. Timor. The Dakini says to you, Darkness is around in this world, and you pursue it? Hypocrite. You are the darkness that you've been carrying in this place. You are an agent, a perfect vessel for the king of fear. Your friends are right to be suspicious of you, to not trust you. Can you call them their fr your friends? Or this just, are they just a means to an end? When it comes to your flag, or them, who will you bleed for first? <laughs> How many have bled for the flag? That filthy scrap of fabric. Stay here and be buried. At least you won't be tried for your crimes with us. We'll just make it all go away. That's what you do, isn't it? Make problems go away. It's an easy choice. Dr. Lockhart. The voice says, What are you even doing here? Saving the world? You're supposed to be wasting away in an archive. Trying to claw whatever corner you can from some dusty building. Chasing after all of these Others that you are so far behind, so, so far behind. And to think, Chang Mei looks up to you. The voice goes away, finally landing on Charles. The golden boy. Ah, uh, how many lies must you tell yourself, Charles, to make yourself feel better? To make your this faux benevolence prop up your fragile soul? How many times are you going to venture off on this adventure or another, this distraction, some futile attempt to recapture the glory days? Have you last seen Fergus? Truly seen him? He is tired. Aren't you tired, Charles? No. Too proud to be tired. What a waste. All of these words. Echo in your ears, iterations, and the sentiments continue to grow louder and louder and louder. They're practically shouting them at you. I need all of you to make a pal roll. And to reiterate what I've said in our private Discord channel, I am so very sorry for all that. <laughs> There we go. You are also able to push power rolls, by the way. Hard success. Nice, Sophion. I don't know what good it does me, but we'll see. Ah, damn. So remember, Lockhart's. This... You can push. Lockhart's yeah. can push if you wish. All right, I'll try. By rolling again. Yep. 
You go first this time. Nice. Oh, skin of your teeth. I love it. Good stuff. Good stuff. Throughout all of this shouting, these vile insults, these horrible words that these Dakini have been speaking into your ears, whispers at first, and now shouted louder and louder, shrieking them at the top of their lungs. Tenzin smiles. I chose them because I believed in the strength of their hearts. And the red skin bikini spins around and sees. First, Sophia. Please describe to me how you completely snap out of your catatonia. Oh, fuck, thank God. Okay, Jesus Christ. <laughs> Ah! Um, I hear these words. I, I'm, I'm, you know, I, internally, I'm seeing these these visions. I'm hearing the 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 words in my head. I'm absolutely distraught because I believe them. Like that's the worst part, is that part of me believes what this thing has just said said to me. That I'm never going to see my brother again, and that it's just me trying to make up for lost time and grief and... and... and nothing else, right? It's just... there is nothing after... There is just darkness and nothingness, and all of the visions that I've seen, all of the feelings that I've felt have meant absolutely nothing. All of these pictures that I've taken for years try to explore the world's beauty and everything that has worked counter to the horrible things that I've seen in my life has meant nothing. And now I'm going to die knowing that. And that everything that comes after this will be a complete failure. And I'm just sort of drowning in the despair of that thought. And these things are laughing at me. And I think this is it. This is the end. This... And then I see the faces of Charles... and Eleanor... and May... and Timur. And I know that it's not about my brother. And it's not about me. It's about them. And I just hear Tenzin's voice saying in Hindustani, he says it in my own language, which I've never heard him speak before because I didn't even know he could speak it. He says... You are not what the world makes you to be. You are who you make you to be. And then my eyes open and my body, which has been completely curled in this just fetal position, all the muscles tensing, just... <sighs> Relax. I breathe a sigh of intense relief, one that I haven't felt that I've breathed in years. And I feel like I'm 20 years younger. (laughs) 
All right. And as you rise, Sophia, you see clearly what this all is as per what I had sent you in that message. You see the wings, the decay, and the flesh and the bone. Next to him, Chiang Mei. Between these two Dakini, the images shimmer slightly, as though for a moment you see that there are wings coming out of this person's back. The cauldron, not a black iron, but a skull, and bones strewn upon the floor, and then describe to me How do you resist and survive this barrage of insults and vile words? I look to the Dakini who has been berating me and I say, You seek to wound my pride. Thank you for reminding me that pride is not why I do this. Pride should not be why I do anything. I should only look to leave the world a little better than it was before I was here. That is what I will continue to do. So thank you for showing them to me. The Dakini's face twists in rage. And you just see begin to see that their hands begin the fingers begin to elongate into long claws. Timur Rapin. Describe to me. How do you push past this challenge? As I'm being reminded of, like, my past history and whatnot, my bad stuff, I couldn't help but think back to the well, the ballet dances and whatnot. Trying to slowly push the voices, make it more of a blur. <coughs> right? <clears throat> and I slowly reach into that of my jacket, pulling out. What appears to be a locket. And opening it up, there's a picture of. Well, a picture of my wife, but also my daughter. And just closing my eyes, press it to my chest for a moment, just thinking of all the simpler times with them, smiles on their faces. <laughs> the laughter of a child.
blocking out the sound of the yelling before I slowly open my eyes once more. Right. The Takini sees that your resolve has steadied you. This locket. She hisses. And you see a flash as well of wings splaying out behind her. As she sort of just crouches and Dr. Lockhart and Charles Lockhart. Please describe to me how you make it through this barrage. Um, well, I take the insults and think of, you know, Fergus being, yes, he did look a little more long in the tooth when last I saw him. Um, Though I remember back to a couple of our adventures together, which weren't the greatest ones, but in each of those adventures, he always said something to me that made sure there was light at the end of the tunnel. And those seemed to become much more powerful messages for Charles uh, as he keeps going back and back to his first adventure uh, with... Fergus and our mantra that we have to uh, our secret code. Um, and as he says that to Fergus, he his eyes clear, his he wipes away the snot and acid from his mouth. Um, and he looks to Eleanor to see what she, where she is in her process. All right, Eleanor. Um, Eleanor, memory is in the dusty archives, uh, thinking of all of the men whom she studied with and who have surpassed her and risen through the industry faster, but how she has found her way and uh, how she realizes she always wanted to be out on the field and have these adventures as she, she has and to pave the way for opportunities for other women to raise to even greater heights. And as she looks at May and uh, sees the resilience in her face and, and looks around to her team and to her husband, and it just feels uh, resolve and um, and says, I think we're done here. We have places to be. At that, the two Dakini rise to their feet and just hiss in displeasure. The red-skinned Dakini says, Very well then, then. Know this, Tenzin Kalsang, you have led them to their deaths. And so, you watch as, one by one, they begin to change. No longer are they the beautiful bikini. But now, they take the form, a familiar form, actually, that you have seen on the walls of Tun Huang. For bikini are also demons. Mm -hmm. This would have been how they approached you. Mm. Mm -hmm. This is merely a depiction 
of their true form. <laughs> wow. Hmm. And at that... Is she eating someone's heart? I think she's eating someone's heart. Yep. yep. Yeah. <laughs> the wonderful ba- verdant forest fades away and instead is a grove of decay you realize that there is a massive upturned skull that is the cauldron from which you've been drinking the soup, the stew from. Your bowls are human skulls. Mm -hmm. And there's an entire carpet of what could only be human leather stitched together and bones strewn about the floor. And so, they all brandish their claws. as the red one flies back here and watches. I'd like everyone to roll initiative. Oh. Oh, ball. Okay, that's cool, that's cool. Let's get something a little more fun on. Do we have any combat music? You tell me. Oh, now I have to <laughs> I love it. Yeah, how y'all doing? Yeah. Oh, boy. Proud of all you. Oh. I'm ready for the good old familiar dance. Whoops, I hit the dexterity. I my fucked up. God damn it. Good job, Matt. I Good job. I fucked up. Hit the initiative roll under combat. Boop. There we go. This one? Yep. Did you hit your token? Yeah. So do, did it work? Question, do it we worked. have our things with us? Before you didn't, you, as you, you, it just seemed that you didn't, but now as you look down, you seem to have strengthened your resolve against the Dakini. You look you look down and you have your gear on you. Okay, thank God. <laughs> Dreams after all. Yeah. Okay. So let's get you this guy. This gal. Okay. It's very upbeat. I love it. <laughs> mm-hmm. Destroy those demons. Mm. Actually, Forget what you ate. Amazing. <laughs> um, what's your thing? Ooh. Six dirty. Yeah. Oh, that's fine. I feel like I would Sorry. hear this piece of music at Blue Man Group for some reason. I don't know why. I just feel. <laughs> Drums covered in paint. <laughs> Never actually seen the Blue Man Group. So oh, it's good. Thing I know that they do. It's fun. Pink one guy's playing on the pipes right now with fucking plungers or something. Yeah. Oh Whoa. Christ! Oh, what the shit? They all go first. Oh, oh, what? Oh, wow. well, I mean, wow, just wow. I'm good. Dad, A hundred? Yeah. <laughs> okay, I'm surrounded by fast Dakini. Awesome. Okay, so the blue Dakini is going to attack you, Chang Mei. I would like to dodge that, please. Okay. Fail. Ooh, boy. Can you, you can't, we can't push dodge rolls, can we? No. No. I don't think so. The claw comes and scratches you. You take five points of damage. Oh. Whoa. What? Um, that's half my hit points. Oh, shit. Well, make a con okay. roll, because you're always yes. your fucking 
fall down unconscious. Get off edit mode real quick. And that's a major oh, wound anyway. I know. We're not supposed to win this. Oh. Okay. Mm. Uh, Peasants that don't I die. That. I know, right? Uh, but I do get a major wound from that, but I am not unconscious. Yep. This Jesus. Okay, cool. Um, pink. Okay. This one's going to claw at you, Eleanor. I have so many of these on my screen. Jesus. Um, Eleanor, would you like to block or fight back or dodge? Uh, yes. <laughs> yes to all of them? <laughs> um, I fight back, dodge, and roll. Mm -hmm. So which one would you like to do? Okay, so... Dodge is dexterity. Um, no, dodge is a skill. I can see that. Yeah, so you'd roll dexter uh, roll your dodge to see uh, whether or not you get more successes. Um, I'll let you know could right I... now, I mm -hmm. failed. Oh, could I attack her with my whip? Uh, yeah, sure. Yes. Oh, oh balls! Yeah. No. So you come in with the she comes in with the claw and you just step, side step and you just crack the whip and she just um, goes back slightly and she just dodge and she just hisses. Mm -hmm. Okay. Next up, another claw going at you, uh, Timor. Yes. It's a failure. Go quickly pull away the locket and return with the brass knuckles. Okay. <laughs> oh come on! Yeah. So she comes in with the claw, and you and you flip, and you come in with the hook, and you see that she actually carries it out of the way. Um, all right. All right. And. This pink bikini is going to uh, attack you, Sophia. Okay. Oof. I'm going to. Uh, I'm going to fight back. I'm going to fight back okay. with my machete. Go for Ooh. it. Machete kills. Machete kills. <laughs> God. We are just sucking ass tonight. So here's what oh, happens. Boy. She, you swing your machete as she comes in with a claw. She grabs you by the wrist, holds you there, and with her fingers at like a spear, drives it into your gut for five oh, damage. Oh, balls! Oh, God! Well, okay, cool. You're gonna murder us all. Uh, that, uh, yeah, that's a major wound. That's a major wound. Cool, 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 cool. I'm just gonna stab in the stomach. Yes. With claws. Actually, oh, wait. Shit. I have 11 hit points with five. That's oh, not a major five. wound. Oh, no, yeah, it's six. Half. You're okay. Yeah, you're yeah, okay. yeah. But you're still, fine. But still, that's like. That's ow! Yeah. I'm at six hit points. Okay. Ooh. And we even had, I haven't even had a turn yet. Punch, teamer, punch! Is this what. Oh, save us! Did, did you call. <laughs> wait, did you roll for tens into. Please say that he has like turn undead or some fucking shit. I don't know, like abjure the un un unholy some uh, something. Abjure the dead. <laughs> some kind of uh, magic that can make them leave us the fuck alone. Protection from good and evil. Oh yeah, yeah. I'll, I'll put Tenson into order. Oh, thank you, thank you so kindly. I'll put Tenson into order. Okay. Just gonna stand there like a dope, and be like, "Let's go, team!" Oh my god, fucking damn it! Die, I'll just cheer for you. Yes. It's not like the so, world is at risk. Ten yeah. Yeah, Tenzin, Tenzin's there. Tenzin's there. So anyways, I try again with another punch! Alright. Yeah. Uh, Teeny's go. going to attempt to, uh, to dodge. No, that's, uh, that's oh, seven man. points of damage. Good lord. Yep. Punches of, of fury. Destruction. Yeah, um, I'm gonna, I'm gonna so, make a promise, I'm gonna tear those wings off. 
she hisses, and then as she hisses, you like punch her in the in the side of the face. And first thing you notice is that when you punch her, her skin is a lot harder than you expected. Ugh. So she actually only takes four damage. Oh my god! Oh, we're Christ. all they gonna die. Yeah, too. we're we're gonna we're gonna die. This is it. This is the end of the campaign, right here. I can smell it. Seems like they're. They have more thicker skin than they appear. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Team, would that it for you? Yeah. Okay. Alright. And remind me, there are no opportunity attacks in this <laughs> game, right? Uh, there are... <laughs> I'm sorry. I, that was like, so I, don't, I, don't have, I don't have to disengage to move <laughs> away from these two without getting smacked, right? Um, I think you have to do a dog. <laughs> if not, hey, maybe guys. not. I'm fucking loopy as hell, and that made that drove me over the edge. <laughs> I know, Matt, but I need I need rules brain here. I'm sorry. What's up? There's no opportunity attacks in this game. No, right? I can just move away. From there that. are no, no opportunity okay, attacks in Call of Duty. That's what I thought. Absolutely, All right, cool. because it's meant to be played. Then, honestly, yeah. most Call of Duty games are not meant to be played. On a, uh, a, on a on a grid with a board Ooh. and all that shit. It's really done yeah. theater of the mind for the most part. So they never consider right. opportunity attacks to be part of the rule set. Well, blue just took half my hit points. The first thing I'm going to do is try and smack blue with my blackjack. Okay. Okay. And hookers. And fail miserably. But at least I didn't tumble. Uh, okay. And then uh. I'm going to double check my move speed, which is eight. I'm going one, two, three, mm -hmm. four, five, six, seven, eight into the fucking trees and taking cover. I'm hiding in the fucking trees. All right, uh, it's the end of my turn. Okay. The white one is going to attack Charles. Great. All right, that, that's a success. Um, do you want to fight back or doge? I'm gonna doge coin it. All right, go for it. Uh, uh, well, well, you want me? To, you want me to fight back? What do you think, Charles? Think none of them. Hold on, let me see. Let me see what my let me see what my doge is. What would Charles do? WWCD. You have seen how hard these things hit, so remember that. What, what would Fergus do? <laughs> Fergus would punch him in the fucking face. They're demons, dude. Uh, where's my fucking dodge? It's there right it is. There. Uh, dodge. would I brawl if I fight back, John? Yeah. I'm brawling. I'm fucking brawling. No! You okay, so chose poorly. This claw comes and swipes you across the chest for two damage. Ouch. Only two? So why don't don't. Yeah. two? Okay. You know what? You know what? It's cool. Okay. It's cool. Don't. If it's two, it's two. Just leave it alone. So you do notice that the white bikini is a little bit smaller. Some of these have uh, build bonuses. Ah. Uh, mm. Yeah. Got it. All right. Uh, the bikini with the charcoal skin flies over the Tenzin. Um, and it's going to try to attack him. That will miss. And Tenzin is just like, I am so sorry about this. And it's going to, uh, he picks up, he dodges, picks up the, uh, his spear, and still not wearing pants. <laughs> with his, cap, with his uh, cat body. Just, just hanging out. Yeah. <laughs> um, and he also misses. Ah, oh, Tenzin. Yeah, we are not a combat-focused party, with the exception of fucking Timor. He's the only one who can hit All them. Right. Listen, I can't... there's only so much like a All tank right. around. Time. Saber time. I'm slashing at the this one. Mm -hmm. This organ is epic. All right, there we go. Oh! There we go. Nice, 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 nice. What? The white one's gonna attempt to fight back. Right. Yeah. I can find a sheet. <laughs> Uh, 
Oh, that's a failure. Uh, that's seven damage reduced to nice. reduced to four. Nice job. Um, I'm gonna move to protect my wife. Okay. That uh, Tenzin's turn. It just says, and he said he just calls out, Jazzy. Enough of this. We have passed your test. Leave us be and let us go. And cackling around in the trees, you just hear a voice reply. Oh, you are not out of the woods just yet. He's gonna take a uh, he's gonna take a stab at the bikini right here. To which Tenzin said, I was afraid of this! But somewhat expected it. And he dodges, he thrusts his uh, katvanga and the Dakini just like slaps it out of the way. <laughs> so, Fionn, it is your turn. Where did that voice come from? Did it come from the red Dakini? Uh, go ahead and give me a listen. Okay. I do kind of feel like we're in Castlevania right now. I know. <laughs> Uh, but I kind of love it. And now we're in the Princess Bride. Right? Yeah. It is it is hard to tell. Okay. But you do notice that the uh, the red Dakini is sort of perched up in the tree watching. Yeah. yeah. And like, nearing and hissing. Yeah, fuck this noise. I'm, uh, I am going to uh, move through the area here. Away from the, the the fuchsia pink guy who slashed me across the chest. Mm -hmm. uh, I have a speed of I think six. Yeah, six sounds about right. Checking uh, seven. Beg your pardon. Seven. So that was two. So I can go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Mm -hmm. Take out my Webley revolver and I unload three shots into this bitch in the trees. All right. Oh, shit. They will be with penalty rolls. So I'm all right with that. Mm-hmm. Okay. So one. Yeah. Fuck. Two. There you go. Three. Penalty. I will have to roll penalties on those, which is okay. So here's the penalty on the second one. The first one I missed. Second one is a 74, which is a miss. Mm -hmm. And the third is a... Nice. Yeah. 16, but it, with the penalties of 26. So the third one is a hit. And that's 7 damage. Right. Nice. Reduce down to 4. Fair enough. The the shot just hits. The three shots go through the air and she just snarls at you. As blood drips out of one of her um, one of the, out of the bullet hole. Uh, yeah. Very good. Cool. I'm done. Okay. Dr. Lockhart. Um, having witnessed Sofian's move, um, Eleanor is going to do the same, seeing that that seems to be the most powerful zucchini. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, Eight movement. Two eight. Yep. Nice. And I'm going to try to shoot for two. Um, how many yards away would you say? Uh, yards. Mm hmm. Ten feet, so like, okay. yeah, three to five yards. You're fine. Nice. Oh yeah. Great. Hell yeah! Do you get penalties on those shots because you shoot twice or no? It has two ammunition. Oh, then fantastic. Um, yeah. Yeah, so it's one still, or it's two. Still, it's still a penalty on the second shot if you shoot twice. Okay. Yeah. Let's roll penalty for the second one. Mm. Makes yeah. it a 73, yep. Okay. The first one hit. Okay, yeah. First one hit for 14. Mm -hmm. Shotguns. 
So, at that, um, Dr. Lockhart, you just take aim and you just fire. Several bullets just plunge into the, uh, into this Dakini. And she falls to the floor. Oh shit, let's go. Even with the armor soak. Nice. Nicely done. Nice job, doctor. Oof. Piercing. So piercing damage. Okay. Oh no, she's That's still it still yeah, has she still had the resistance. She just, a, she just did a shitload of damage. Yeah, she did seven uh, damage plus my like three. That's like ten damage. Uh, wait, they only have wait, so they only have ten health? We don't know. I think we don't know. We think I think we did eleven damage total to her. So. Yeah, I think you're right. Okay. If they bleed <laughs> kill. We can kill them. The other Takini shriek at one of them number being fall having fallen. And the blue one. Hmm. We need to do a roll for the blue one. The blue one moves to attack, but then stops. And you watch it to form shimmers, and she disappears. You hear the sound of wing beats flying off up in the air. One. So, this Takini. <laughs> Going to attack. <laughs> He's going to follow Dr. Lo Lockhart and attack. That's a miss. Next one is going to attack uh, Timor. All right, that is a success. Uh, Timor, do you want to fight back or dodge? I'll fight back. Okay. Oh, you know what? Balls. It's one point of luck. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna just, I'm just gonna use that one point. Fuck it. Okay. Um, my success is a hard success, unfortunately. Ah, uh, god damn it! Ah. And so, you fight back. She slips. Your your hit, and she's it's almost like she is copying your your um, your brawling style. Goes, and you just feel a solid fist. It feels like a boulder hitting you in your mm. ribs for five points of damage. Ah, Jesus! These things hit so hard. Uh, so that leaves me with eight health. Yeah, teamers beefy. He is right. the beefiest beef. This Takini <laughs> takes flight and flies over to Sophia. Oh, He's going to attack. God damn it. Uh, yeah, so um, Sophia's going to dodge. Okay. I am in no shape to fucking try to fight back. Nice. Okay. Yeah, you dodge out of the way as this claw nice. comes raking through the air. Woo. Very nice. Woo. Two more. How's the one I'm dealing with, like, looking? Uh, she's a little bit damaged. You know what? I... I want to look like I'm... I want to give off, like, a... This is a theater of the mind, by the way, so... Mm -hmm. It looks like I'm about to do, like, another... Swing my fists. But I fainted. And switch out for the pistol and go for the multi-shot. <laughs> okay, go for nice. it. Nice. <laughs> Sneaky. It's like you have it like you're like doing one of these things, you're like, hey, 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 and then like with your left hand you like pull the gun out and shoot her. <laughs> <laughs> right, so I guess we'll do it. like three shots, right? Or uh yeah. yeah, and the subsequent ones are disadvantaged. Uh penalty. Correct. Gotcha. Yeah. Yeah. So, what? Uh, okay. 
All right, all right. Penalties so on those, though. Penalties on them. On the other two, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay. Good. That has one hit. Okay. Good. Two, two hits. Two hits. Yeah. Okay, so each time they soak three, that's two plus three, so five. Cool. Pretty good. Um, the two bullets sink into it, the, into its uh, leathery skin, and just and she just like howls in pain. Um, and you see dark blood just dripping out of her jaws. Her uh, teeth, her perfect teeth, now sharpened fangs. Uh, Chang Mei. Right. Uh, one, two, three, four, five. All right. So I'm gonna come one, two, three. For five to the end of the woods where I have a clean line of ones attacking Dr. Lockhart. I'm gonna to attempt to hit her with my rifle. Okay. Alright, so Why am I? Yeah! 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 Except right. she's gonna soak all of my damage. So whatever. Not all of it. No, they soak three points, so she's gonna soak all my damage. Oh, she but... has they have like a damage threshold essentially. Yeah. yeah. So, but so that's okay. That still means I get to level up that skill next time. That's true. So take it. That's true. <laughs> so, um, Cheng Mei, here's what here's what I will give you. The shot hits. It doesn't deal damage, but it staggers the Dakini. So the next attack upon it will have a bonus die. All right, I can nice. I can work with that. Uh, I only get one shot with this rifle, so that was uh, five squares of movement. Six. Seven, eight, back in the fucking trees. Okay. Um, the white bikini is going to attack Charles. Fuck you. That's a miss. Yeah. <laughs> it worked. He is. I... Is he? <laughs> All you just fuck you. Fuck you. It's just like, where'd he go? <laughs> I mean, yeah, he could. All right, let me try and punch him in the fucking mouth. That's what he gets. Well, actually, would it be with my saber or okay, what do you want to do? Yeah, can I can I like counterattack with my saber? Sure. All right. No. Balls. A lot of air. That was a close okay. swing and a miss. Almost a fumble there, dude. Shh. Almost. Bikini black is Go. going to attack. Yeah. Tenzin, that's a miss. Tenzin's going to uh, do his best without any pants. <laughs> He's also going to miss. Swing D, Tenzin. Oh my god. Alright, Charles, it's your turn. Alright, well... Lockhart, it's all uh, about the motion. That's right. Uh, motion of the lobster boat. Um, and I'm going to... I'm going to die on this one, too, because that's the one I shot. <laughs> the one that attacked my wife, and I'm going to swing at this motherfucker. Motherfucker! Yeah. All right. Wow. wow. You get a wait. Wait. He got. Yeah. Oh nine. Never mind. Nice. Eighty. Come on. Eighty-one is his tie. Higher one. Yeah. Balls. Oh well. Right. I tried. Uh. Okay. Yeah. And because of the stagger, Pink's not going to try to do anything. That's it, Charles. Uh. I guess I should move. One. Two. How many? Oh, hang on. How many did I move before? I was here, right? One, yeah. two, three, four, five, six, seven. Sure. Yep. Okay. So with that, slice with a saber, miss. But you are now beside your wife again. Henson is going to uh, attempt the. Who attempt the Katari? That hits. Thank God. Let's go. Nice. Well, one point of damage. Are you fucking right, kidding me? Right. It's a magic Come dagger. Ah. Uh, damage soak once again. Rolled four. Minus oh. three. <laughs> they just like. Uh. It's great against yeah, put, great against Pisaches. Shitty against Akinis. Also, man. <laughs> You need to put more force into it. I don't Get usually do this to living people. Get mad! What? <laughs> 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 I 
trying, uh, yeah, you're, sure. you're, trying to, then, you're trying to convince the pacifist llama to get mad. It's like telling, like, man. the Dalai Lama, it's like, no, what you have to do is get pissed off. Just, no, <laughs> just try not to think pacifism all the time. Yeah. Especially after his experience around the campfire. Exactly. <laughs> uh, yeah, at this point in time, uh, Sofian is just, like, He's he's in fight or flight mode. Uh, he's just gotten a, a huge chunk of flesh torn away from his ribs. He's probably going to be in the hospital. Uh, he sees two of these creatures uh, nearby, and he's just going to take he's going to take three shots. He's just going to go bang, bang, bang. So two on one and one on the other. Okay. So two on this guy, and one on that guy. Now he right. only has five bullets in his gun left. Sure. Just saying it out loud now. I've been tracking okay. ammo. Something I don't often Bless do in you. most games. You are welcome, sir. All right, here we go. Handgun. No, not shotgun. <laughs> it's more click, <laughs> click, bang, click, bang, click, bang. One, You're fuck, yeah. two, okay. Just barely. And three. Fuck. Oh. Okay. Well, the, the, that second one has a penalty. I know. It has a penalty. Uh, please get better than a four. Okay, fuck. I've missed all three times. Oh. And I'm down yeah. to two. No. And I'm down to two ammo. Okay. It's all right. It's dark here. I mean, we're all uh, carrying extra ammo. You can reload. It just takes a turn. Yeah. It's, you it's see, you see, you yeah. see the Dakinis, the, the Dakinis leathery wings just uh, close around itself as you raise the gun towards it, and the bullets just bounce off the wings. Yes, Sophia is just, uh, she, uh, he's, he's, he's staring in shock. Uh, Doctor Lockhart, it's your turn. It's all right, Sophia. We'll do this. Um, but I'm also out of ammo. <laughs> So, I'm just going to attack with my whip. <laughs> um, the one closest to me that attacked me. Okay. Can I push that? Luck? You can uh, luck you it. Cannot, you can luck it. You cannot push uh, combat rolls. Okay, I can luck it for five points. Correct. Yeah. Let us do that. Okay, yeah. Um, I will say it still does a minimum of like one damage. That's because so mathematically, helps. mathematically there'd be no way for you to uh, do damage with this bull whip, right? Okay. So it still does. You do still crack the whip. Okay. This, does it uh, move? <laughs> uh, with just a basic sess, um did you want to tie it with a maneuver or something, or? I wanted to, yes. I mean, optimistically, to try to capture it in some way, but perhaps just to get it to back off a little bit. At minimum. Mm. So you can make it back off a bit with the whip again, but you won't do damage. Okay. Would you like the, the damage or the distance? Um, the... Just okay. Cool. Just. All right. So, as the whip cracks behind you, suddenly, actually yeah, not back. behind you, right, right here, there is an impact as the blue bikini returns uh. and says, and just says, "Enough, sisters. We have dallied too long here." Oh, thank God. And she says, the test is over. She begins to walk over to the um, red bikini on the ground and says, isn't that right, sister? She reaches down, fixes the sister's head, and you just watch as the blood just seeps back into her. And one by one, they begin to revert to their previous form. Oh my god. We were never going to be able to kill them at all. 
No, def- I had a feeling we weren't. <laughs> the red bikini just says, Sincerest apologies. You are in our domain after all. And as... Oh, how those weapons do sting. You mortals certainly are very diligent in making those hurt as much as possible. Unfortunately, these are not enough to completely vanquish us, and, well... (laughs) What would you do without us? And... Huh? Please do understand. This was all coming from a from a point of a perspective of greater concern. Uh you there, um Chang Mei, you may come out of the grove now. We ha- we will no longer attack you. In fact, you've pro- proven you all all of yourselves quite Proficient. I don't think um, my sister over there has had quite as much fun as she has with uh, your Russian friend. It's quite some. May she's not had so much fun for a while. Yeah. Just staring at her at this point. This Sabine has just like a giant gut wound <laughs> where this thing's killed. Yeah, we haven't even discussed what my major wound is, so May is just standing there bleeding. Oh yeah, major wound. Whoops. Did you succeed yeah. your con check? I did succeed She my did, con check. yeah. Yeah, Yeah. so she didn't but pass out. A, but I have a okay. wound, yes. Um, hmm. Is there a major wound table? No, there's no table. You have a major wound that basically just means that you have the uh, it, it casts a little aspersion on your innate, uh, okay. able to. You have to. Um, you have some penalties with major wounds, and you need to be able to get rid of the major wound, which you do as soon as you heal uh, over your halfway point. You can. Um, okay. So I need one well, point of healing, and I essentially, will yeah, that's correct. Yeah. Cool. 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 <sighs> Now, um, the Dakini just says, you now see us for who we are, and while we still have a moment, will you, would you please join us by the fire? No stew or beer or anything like that. I kind of eye side eye them. Would you do us the decency of healing the wounds you've inflicted? Oh. Yes, uh, sisters, if you, if you don't mind, and um, the sisters, the seven sisters, go to each of you, and in a way of your choosing, hmm. um, food and drink. To uh, we will get back to you after these messages, mm-hmm. and um, simply just giving you affirmations. Uh, you may choose how you recover your wounds. <laughs> uh, yeah, I'll take affirmations, thanks. I don't want any more of their food. <laughs> yeah. Um, Bacon. It was the blue one. The blue one uh, just says, I'm so sorry about the words earlier, but I needed to test your mental and resolve. You are doing great things, and I look forward to how your fate plays out. Many will look towards the path that you have you are carving, and... We'll remember. If there's no, Thanks. if you do not do oh, this for sure. pride, if you do not do this for pride, take pride in all of those who will come after you. May bows. Mm-hmm. And she just goes, and no hard feelings, right? <laughs> May smiles at her. Of course. Yeah. And the gaping wound in her leg looks. Yep. Um, yeah, I guess everyone else can decide if they wish. Uh, food, drink. Um, or sexual healing. Yeah. Or, Mar- or the Marvin Gaye special. Yeah, the Marvin Gaye special. I think I cracked a rib. 
The pink bikini says, "Oh, don't worry, I can crack that back into place." Oh we man! Can go to your side and it just goes clack. <laughs> oh, pulls it right back. <laughs> Great. Sorry, I was watching you. That was you have a very peculiar style of fighting. I haven't seen that before. Word of warning next time. Oh, uh, sorry. I'm going to put your other rib back in place now. Wait, what? Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. Swearing in Russian. <laughs> Chiropractor. Yeah. Would you like this? Um, there was someone who kind of looks like you... Russians, I think. Yes. I found this bottle on them. Will this help? It's a bottle of clear li liquid. Nice. Yes. <laughs> Pass it over to me, please. It's a Russian yes. healing potion. It's a healing potion, <laughs> yes. Yep. Yeah, she hands it over. I don't quite like the taste of it. Just... <laughs> It grows on you. Yeah. You mean um, swing it? Sophia, would you like uh, and to choose any or just assume that you've been healed? I think uh, Sophian will just take whatever healing he can get. That's it. He's, okay. He, he's, 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 Same with Charles. He does not care as long as his they give you each pain goes away. A lollipop. Thanks. <laughs> the lamb chops were real, by the way. <laughs> Oh, thank God. <laughs> so, yeah, you are all healed. Okay, thank God. All right. Back to 11. Now vegetarian. <laughs> no major wound. We're good, all right. Thank God. No major bitch. Oh, did I go temporarily insane when I lost and then got a bout of madness? Yeah. Oh, okay. Great. That was a temporary insanity. But I, but I lost the sanity, right? I mean, I don't get the yeah. sanity, but okay. Great. Yeah. Super. How much sanity does everybody else have? Just, just uh, the measuring stick. Uh, sixty-two. Sixty-eight. Out of How about May? May. I got a uh, sixty-two out of sixty-two. Yeah, but Eleanor. Sanity, 61 of 62. Cool, 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 cool. <laughs> oh, yeah, I for Jeez, good lord, I, I, I completely forgot. Everyone should have, everyone else should have, like, had to a Sandy check. We did. They did. We did. Oh, for yeah. the, for the, oh, I got, I got everyone for the, uh, transformation. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, I believe yeah. so, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay. Yeah, I fucked, cool. I, fu cool. I fucked it. Yeah. Hardcore, okay. hardcore. Great, great. Yeah. You what? Yeah, I fucked it. Some of us have been hey, luckier yo. with rolls throughout the previous and sessions. And also, I'm pretty sure Sophia started with significantly less sanity. Than I started yeah. with 50. I am at 36. Yeah. Oh, wow. okay. You're at, yeah. Um, yeah, I've only lo I've only permanently lost three. I started at 65. It's cool. I started mm -hmm. seeing ghosts before the campaign began, so I think that's kind of indicative. <laughs> Right. Yeah, yeah, you were already a little over the edge. Cuckoo for cocoa puffs. Oh. Yep. All right, not to be that guy, but it's one thirty in the morning. Yeah, I am. I am. I am tired. I am that guy. I am that guy. So, Good night, everyone. <laughs> <laughs> hey, hey, hey! Come on. I know. So, I'm teasing. You. Um. And so, as you all gather, Zucchini say, "Listen, we had to test you because we know what your mission is." We know what you are to do. And unfortunately, you allowed the Tokabaya to deceive you. The scroll that you carry is not the closing of the ways. It is the opening of the gates. Oh, wonderful. They were going to turn you into patsies, I believe is the term, correct? Um, and so we have t we had taken it upon ourselves to intercept you. We wanted to see if you were would be able to resist the temptations of the Kulika King, the King of Fear. You have proven yourselves. 
And for that, you should be proud. And as a bit of an apology and a sign of goodwill, we have corrected your manuscript. Great. Mm -hmm. Oh. Kind. Thank you. Manus. Good Lama, do not feel any shame about not detecting any errors. It is an ancient manuscript from long ago, and the details are very fine. It's fascinating how similar opening and closing can be. When one closes and one opens, it is almost the same motion. That said, you shall find yourselves unmolested in your journey to the Valley of the White Ape. For you see, the ones responsible for this um, error in your manuscript had come to finish the job. Unfortunately, they will be found wanting. The red-skinned Dakini gestures over to another to the trees, and your vision zooms. It's just outside of another clearing. As several what you thought were Chinese Buddhist monks, along with Kunchen Chodak, are utterly failing and giving in to the earthly temptations. Chodak manages to reach the end, but he is slain by the Dakini, for he is an agent of the Togabaya. Judgment. Judgment was the name of the that, he, that came to him in that vision. That Dakini said, now go. Make your way to the valley. It will test you. But you must prevail and seal away the king of fear. Beware the Tokabaya. And they all bow to you and say, Oh, and one more thing. We shall bless you with the remainder of, of your sleep as the most wonderful dream you've ever had. Enjoy. And as your vision fades, eventually you will wake, all rested, unbothered, and... Well, oddly feeling better than you ever had in your life. The last thing in your minds that's fading as you wake is a strange image of winged creatures and a the red skinned Dakini waving goodbye. And that is where we're going to close it for tonight and close yeah. chapter five. All right. Yeah. 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 All right. All right. It's late. I'm sorry, but. Yeah, uh, sorry. Thank you so much, everyone. Great. Thank you, Jonathan. You were fantastic. Um, I love you all for... Uh, I had to say some very awful things, but <laughs> you stuck through it, you held strong, and you showed these zucchinis what for. Darn it. And yeah, you, you, did, you did good. You did you good. Did Tenzin, you did Tenzin proud. Well, hopefully Tenzin didn't catch something, so... Oh yeah, Tenzin eventually does like uh, oh okay, time to go. Yeah. Finds his pants. Pulls his pants up. Yep. And uh yeah, so thank you again everyone for joining me here at this uh virtual table and also on Twitch uh, and on YouTube and wherever you happen to be watching this, you're wonderful. Let's go around the horn and say where we can be found. Starting with uh the Lockharts. Uh, you can find me on the social medias at Endymion's Fury on Twitch and Discord and Instagram. 
And that and is Chris Pacer. And that is Vanessa. Yeah. Chris and uh, Vanessa, uh, not the Lockhearts. They are playing. Oh, yes. Yeah. Serenity's <laughs> free. Well, we yeah. are married in real life, too. So. Yeah. Mm-hmm. <laughs> All right. Moving on. Uh, we've got... Great job, John. Great job, y'all. Uh, next up, we've got Matt. Hey, everybody. Uh, my name's Matt. Help do things here. Uh, slice and dice. Uh, going really quickly because I want to go to bed. Uh, lots of stuff here. Uh, slices and dices. Uh, got a lot of stuff. Uh, come watch it all. It's awesome. And bed. <laughs> <laughs> well said. Next up, we've got Sarah. Hello, I am Sarah. You can find me on all of the social medias when I bother to post on them at Lovely Lava. Same name on our Discord, and I too must sleep. Yeah, it calls to me. Call us new Stulu anyway. Um, <laughs> last, certainly not least, Tally. My name's Tally, and you'll always find me on social media. Uh, Game Round and whatnot, where I'm always posting nerdy stuff, art, shenanigans, and so forth. And God, I'm really fucking tired. Mm-hmm. We're all dying. Yep. And hi, I'm Jonathan. You can find me on Twitter at Fleshly, Freshly underscore Zestin. Fleshly! And- you bastard. <laughs> <laughs> I'm on Instagram at Blue Before Orange. I'm also on the Discord, um, uh, the Slices and Dices Discord. Come check us out. And uh, yeah, uh, once again, thank you everyone for for joining us. Um, lots of love. And remember, even when even if, if even if you're not being um, harassed or visited by a septet of Dakinis who may look like beautiful um, people of your choice or demons. I'm sorry to remember. Take care of each other, but don't forget to take care of yourselves. Good night, everybody. <laughs>